WCJ West Palm Beach. Broadcasting live, this is KMA Talk Radio. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of fine cigars. With your hosts, Honest Abe and Adam K. the Brewmeister. Listen to the show anywhere in the free world at kmatalkradio.com. I like to smoke them like the wits church. Good morning, loyal listeners, libertarians, lovers of the league, everyone out there in Radio Land. Welcome to another exciting edition of KMA Talk Radio, brought to you in part by the good people at me. You, yes, I bought it to you. Yes, thank you. Well done. Who who, who was it brought to you by? Well, I was kind of think of a fun thing to say there. It was going to be like <laughs> brought to you by Slap Chop. I'm like, did we get a new sponsor? Yes. All right. I was going to make something. Awesome. I was gonna, it seemed like I could come up with a fun, unique, random thing, but... Fail. I haven't had enough coffee yet. Fail. Yeah, yeah definitely. Fail. Most definitely. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, another fun and exciting edition of KMA Talk Radio here on this, a lovely Saturday morning, broadcasting live in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Can I, we go right to commercial? Because I, I feel Abe, like, steaming. He wants to, like, call me out on the air, I think, and yell at me. Why, for what? What did you do now, Paul? I was late. You no, know. no, no, no. It wasn't late. <laughs> he used his special needs sister as an excuse. First of all. I'm like, really, Paul? It wasn't an excuse. I'd say I woke up a little bit later than I expected. You could have just said, I woke up late, and I'm going to be there late. But that's not what you said. You went right into, I had to make my sister breakfast. and she, Dude, it was sad. <laughs> I, it was really sad. I was, I was very, giving you the honest answer. I was kind of a little disgusted by that move, to be honest with you. <laughs> i got to tell you. How do you expect to survive having a child in the very near future if you can't even get through this Saturday when you don't have a child and your sister visiting. Today's the due date, too. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny because this is deja vu because this was the exact speech I was getting from my wife as I was going out the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, great minds think alike. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just saying. And uh, we can confirm that our guest is here, mm-hmm. so we don't have to worry about the curse. He he apparently oh, is. Oh, that's right. We, he and I were t- actually fun fun story. He'll probably tell us later. Uh, he actually was awoken at the hotel last night by a fire alarm in the hotel. That's and the, had to vacate. That's the worst. But wow. there was no fire. Really? I just stay now. That happens to me all the time. I've never had that happen to me once. Uh, that happened really? To, uh, that happened to me once when I was a child, and it was the the hockey team that was staying in the hotel pulled the fire alarm. Wow. It's happened to me at least five times. Really? And after the first two, when I was in San Diego for work last time, I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm staying in bed. I'm you not know, getting I up. I think if I'm in the first like three floors, I would just chill out. But if I was like on the like twentieth or fourth, thirtieth floor, yeah, I, I think I'd kind of make my way down. Just I was in on case. the sixteenth. Yeah, because <laughs> by the time you realize it's not a false alarm, it's probably <laughs> too late. I could probably survive a second or third story jump from a window, bounce a couple times, and live. <laughs> so if I'm up above the third floor, yeah, I think I'm just going to take it a little bit seriously. Uh, yes, but uh, anyway, our guest this week will be Mr. Zev Kaminsky of Royal Agio Cigars. Zev uh, has been here before. Glad to have Zev back. Never hear from Royal Agio, though. No, he's not. This is his first time. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I love I love when guys come on who just recently left companies because I, I like to, you know. Oh, he'll talk. Well, not yeah. even that, but he was just at the trade show, so like, you know. How was it seeing all your <laughs> it, old it, peeps and I, your old company? I, I, I feel like I already started the interview because he and I were talking before the show, before everybody else was getting coffee and everything. And oh yeah, I feel like I've already conducted half the interview. It's great. It's, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a great. <laughs> He's got story. it all in his head. It's going to be a great story. Uh, great show. That's what we mean. Uh, great story. <laughs> well, great story and a great show. Both. Why is the hat <laughs> off? It's throwing me off. I'm sorry, I'm looking sweating. At your ba- looking at your bald head's freaking Look, me out. Look, I got a, little a nice bit. haircut. And done. why are you wearing sunglasses? Because I left my. I'm a mess this morning. I left my regular glasses in the car. So, and uh, during the break, I'll go down and get my glasses. And uh, and you know what? You, I figured if, you look like a blind like uh, no, 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 Telly if, Savalas if, right if now. If I may, you look like a white Ray Charles. It's <laughs> very yeah. upsetting. I, that's actually a good look for me. I, I figure I'll just you know it's radio and we're like hip and cool. I'll wear my sunglasses no, all the time. Not, uh, we no. might be, but you're not. <laughs> no. Uh, Every week here at KMA Talk Radio, we like to give wonderful things away. Our good friends over at Recluse like to give away the Recluse Funny Photo Contest of the Week. Congratulations to James Sippel, who you won last week's uh, photo contest. 
What was his picture again? I liked it. It was pretty funny. It was uh, it was a, a picture of a sign in a oh, gun yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah, the, so the, it the said, gun, do you want me to read it? Yeah, the gun sign. It's hilarious. It said, attention idiots. There are only three reasons to holster your to unholster your loaded firearm. One, you're robbing us. Two, you're shooting the person robbing us. Three, you're a complete incompetent idiot. Please do not unholster a loaded weapon in our store. If you do, the following will apply to each of the above. One, you will be shot. Two, you will be thanked. <laughs> Three, you will be treated like an idiot and asked to leave. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite number two. You will be thanked. Hey, no, <laughs> you will be thanked. Absolutely. See, I, I like that. That's what I'm looking. I'm looking for photos in real life that are pretty funny. That's a cool. That's, that's a cool I, picture. You know, I, I would have stopped in the store and took a picture of that. So yes. that's pretty funny. Yes, if you've got a fun photo or you can actually prove that you were there or took it yourself, hey, you get extra bonus points for that, and you can take home a five pack of Recluse cigars. It's that easy. Just head over to the KMA Talk Radio Facebook page and post your best photo in this week's Recluse Funny Photo Contest. It's always enjoyable. By the way, I don't know if Paul knows this, but, you know, I got a dozen bagels this morning from Broken Thank Water Bagel. That's another thing that I knew you were going to bring up. There's a whole wheat one in a bag separated for you. Really? Yes. <laughs> You're such a liar. Nope. I don't believe you. Ask yeah. AJ. He's right next to you. He got me a whole wheat one? Huh? In a I, separate bag. Well, yeah, I told him I didn't want to touching the real bagels. I was actually going to text message everybody and be like, since you were getting the bagels for me this morning, I was going to text you and say, hey, don't forget whole wheat bagels just to kind of, you know. I got you one in a separate bag. What a gentleman. Thank you. Yeah. We're looking out for you and your. That's because he thinks I look I think so Zev's fat. eating it in the back because I offered it to him, but I got it. <laughs> He can have it. it. Zev can have it. <laughs> Maybe. We'll he's, a th- he's a thin guy. He's got to keep that up. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a fun and entertaining show. Uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Mr. Zev Kaminsky of Royal Agio will be our guest for our Meet Your Maker segment. <laughs> we, got, we got a ghost door. just opened on its own. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Slowly. What, come on what? in. Have a seat. Yes. <laughs> ghost of the studio. <laughs> I hope that was on camera. <laughs> it was pretty funny if it was. Oh, it's oh that's too bad. The studio right. door just slowly opened yes. by itself. Once again, nothing works here at VCMG. Just us. <laughs> Keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too. Yes, it's mandatory. Bold and complex. That is the new Romeo San Andres by Romeo Lieta. Using the very best San Andres wrapper leaf available in the market, Rafael Nadal and AJ Fernandez collaborated together to create a new standard among San Andres cigars. Medium to full-bodied, this cigar is bountiful in both flavor and aroma. Available nationally for the first time, Romeo San Andres is a cigar you do not want to miss. Make sure to get one today at your local tobacconist. Romeo San Andres by Romeo Lieta. Cigar Enthusiasts. Did you know your personal freedom to enjoy a fine cigar is affected by some form of smoking ban in all 50 states? Additionally, taxation on premium cigars is at its highest level in history, with some states taxing at an astronomical rate of 75%. Finally, there's a solution. CRA, Cigar Rights of America, is the first and only nonprofit public advocacy association fighting for your freedom to enjoy a fine cigar. Don't just sit there. Become part of the solution. Become a CRA member today. Membership is only $35 a year. That's less than $3 a month. And as a special bonus, CRA will send you two limited edition cigars as a way to say thank you for joining. Visit CigarRights.org for more information and to become a member. Quality and value are always the two biggest determining factors for consumers when making buying decisions. Casa Bella by Sindicato Cigars offers superior flavor, quality construction, and an affordable everyday price. Completely handmade in the Dominican Republic, these value-priced, smooth yet flavorful cigars are comprised of Dominican and Nicaraguan filler tobaccos, and they're available in natural and Maduro wrappers. Visit SindicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer of Casa Bella Cigars. The Oliva family, the makers of some of the most affordable yet highest rated premium cigars available. For seven straight years, Cigar Aficionado has rated Oliva as one of the best cigars of the year. And Oliva has a cigar for all smokers. From the newly released Gilberto Oliva Reserva to the bold and rich Oliva Siri V. Oliva cigars can be found at a tobacconist near you. So always ask for Oliva. 
an unbeatable value, and uncompromising quality. The Oliva family of cigars. The recently released Perdomo Double Age 12-Year Vintage is an extremely rare blend of Perdomo's finest and most cherished 12-year-old fillers, binders, and wrappers. Bale aged for 10 years and then barrel aged in bourbon barrels for an additional two years, these exquisite Nicaraguan tobaccos are bursting with rich, complex flavors. Offered in Connecticut, Sun-Grown, or Maduro, available at only 250 authorized tobacconists worldwide, the Perdomo Double Age 12-Year Vintage is a must-have for every cigar enthusiast. Monte Cristo has set the standard once again, turning back the hands of time by utilizing a long-forgotten, unique aging process that harmonizes the flavors of the wrapper, binder, and filler with the use of small pilones. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured is an exquisite cigar you must try now. Available nationally for the first time, Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured features a 2006 Nicaraguan Rosado Oscuro wrapper that is both beautiful and distinctive. This cigar is a masterpiece no one should miss. Make sure you get one today at your local tobacconist. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured. For 500 years, Nicaragua has served as a crossroads of cultures. Ever since indigenous inhabitants mocked arriving Spanish conquistadors in a colorful costume satirical masterpiece called El Huehuense, or The Wise Man. This great dance continues today in the careful blending of Nicaragua's finest tobacco. Master blender Nicolas Melillo has worked tirelessly to create and honor the great dance of flavors in El Huehuense cigars. Visit FoundationCigars.com. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too. Yes, it's mandatory. Welcome back to KMA Talk Radio, broadcasting live here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I am Adam K. the Brewmeister. With me, of course, the host with the most, Mr. Honest Dave himself. Yo, yo, yo. And now it's... and uh, yeah. I'm just curious now, Paul. Is, are we blaming this now on your special needs sister, too? Stop, stop saying that. No, so I think what happened is... I. So every morning I wake up, I open the laptop at home, I click print on Saturday, but I guess I didn't hit refresh, so it printed last week's would outline. Would it just... Be classified under you just suck at your job. Uh, no, because I had a gentleman come up to me at one of your stores actually the other day, and he said, "You know, I just want to tell you, you do a great job." They all lie. <laughs> By I, the way, Rudy, I highly doubt that was something. My man, there. that's a cue for Paul, the producer, the best we can afford. I'm going to help Rudy with the soundboard today. We got Rudy sitting in for uh, King Kong Collins. So, King Kong Collins. Yes. Yeah. We had cards yeah. printed and everything. Yeah, we need we need uh, we need like the theme music from the movie Rudy for when Rudy's on the board. <laughs> He's too preoccupied. Look, he can't even laugh. Rudy yeah. normally enjoys the show, sitting next to Colin, laughing. L- 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 he can't even concentrate on what I'm talking about now, poor guy. And Paul's just struggling mightily as everything is going I, on. I sent you the link. Colin's printing what we need now. Oh, there you go. Look, Look at that. Oh, but I think Zev to... knows what he sent me. So. Probably. But anyway, with that, it's time for <laughs> it's time for Wake to be our favorite part of the show. Mm. It's coming. Get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell. It's time to meet your maker. This week, KMA Talk Radio is pleased to welcome back Mr. Zev Kaminsky, now of Royal Agio Cigars. Zev, welcome yeah. back, man. Thank you. It's good to be back. It's been a while, too. It's been almost three years. Has it been that long? I think so. Holy cow. I thought it was 16. Fall of 16. Well, maybe it's two years. Oh, I thought no, you were going to 16 years. I'm like, dude, we didn't have a show 16 years ago. Yeah, we did not. But fall no, I'm pretty 16. sure it was fall of 16. Uh, it, was, it, it was a while ago. It's been a crazy couple of uh, you know months and years for me lately, so uh, I might be a little lost on time. It's all right. He may have called in, actually. He no, did not. He I, was, I was here in here. person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was yeah, here. you're on a roll. <laughs> you're on just, a roll. <laughs> just kill just his mic. Just, just go me. sit in the corner or something. Come on, just think about what you've done. Have a timeout, Paul. <laughs> so I have, I have I have no show points to go by. All right, Adam, go ahead, Adam. Adam, steer the show. All right, it's on the phone, but I'm trying to keep the clock moving. So, <laughs> Zev, obviously, welcome back. Thanks for being here. So now, well, uh, for those for those for those who are listening or maybe not that familiar, give us a little background. Or how how it is we finally got you to come out of your shell and actually get out into the world, as you are often hint to say that you are the man that no one ever knows. Uh, yeah, no, um, you know, if you want a kind of a quick background on yeah, me, I've been absolutely. in the industry yeah. about 10 years, but as you said, I mean, I'm a guy that very few people know. I've always been more behind the scenes. Um, I started as a rep on the road in the Carolinas. How did you get in the industry? 
you came from the liquor I, I, industry, I didn't from you? from beer and Red Bull. I'm kind of the uh, enigma to most people in the industry. I, uh, in all honesty, at that point, wasn't even a big cigar smoker. I was very casual. Um, I had been selling beer for years, went to work for Red Bull as a distributor, and I got headhunted by a company called Intercontinental Cigars. Oh, yeah. Al, uh, Al Capone's. Al Capone's, yeah. And uh, it was just a day-to-day -day calling on convenience stores, calling on premium shops. Um, but most of the premium shops that have it, it was just a secondary business. Right. So I used those stops as my lunch, as my last stop of the day to kind of unwind, relax. I started getting into cigars. And then um, one shop in particular, Craig Cass up at Tinderbox Charlotte, yeah. he's, I kind of consider him my mentor. He just looked at me one day and goes, you ever think about selling real cigars? <laughs> I said, I, I don't know what that means. And uh, he hooked me up with Camacho at the time, was going through the Davidoff merger, and uh, I guess the rest is history. So. Oh, you, I didn't even realize. You were you were there? Did, did, were you post-merger or pre-merger? I was the first employee hired by Camacho post-acquisition. post, post acquisition. acquisition, yeah. And then I went call merger. through the merger, and then during the merger is when I actually left and went to work for Drew Estate. So it's about seven and a half years ago. Wow. And okay. how, how did you get to Drew Estate? Uh, Drew Estate was actually a recommendation of a retailer out in, uh, out in Atlanta, as well as Sean Williams. Oh, yeah. who, uh, Is he still making cigars? He's now with General Cigar. Oh, okay. oh yeah. He's now representing some brand. That happened last year, right? Correct. He's, did some brand, he's doing some brand represent as just the master brand rep for one of General's things. Correct. Right. And, and he basically just said, hey, Drew's looking for somebody. Are you interested? And he's the one who kind of steered me that way. And I guess the rest was history until December. So you, you sat down in an interview. Did, was John in Did John talk to you? No. John and Marvin at that point, I think, were much more above okay. the day-to-day -day hiring. I actually interviewed with David Lafferty. And oh, yeah. I, and with Mike Salucci. Okay. And then on the final interview, ironically, it was Lafferty, Salucci, and Fabian all together oh, okay. in, one, in one room. Wow. All right. And, uh, you got, wow, it's impossible, almost impossible to get all those guys in one room at a time. Oh, no, it was it was fun. It, well, it's what they are. It's what we were. I mean, you yeah. got a, I got a good experience right there right. everything at once. So, so. And then seven years with them, huh? So it, was, it would have been seven years in March. Oh. Yeah. And then uh, what happened uh, earlier this year with that? Um, you know, basically... Did you get a text or a phone call no, 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 or an we, email? We, we were actually in the office having meetings, and uh, over the weekend was the company holiday party. Went out to the holiday party. I was suffering from... They didn't that. tell you at the holiday no, party. No, 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 no. They're not. Oh, they're that would have been great uh, radio, uh, though. Yeah. That would have made some good radio. I was uh, suffering from that flu at Christmas that everybody had that wouldn't go away, and I came into work Monday morning. They called me in the office and just said, it's time to go. That's it. Yeah. So, no you know, explanation. No, well, I mean, there's reasons behind it. You know, I can admit probably some of it was me. I was getting a little, you know, aggressive with things as they changed a little bit. Some of it was them. And you know what? It's business. It just, things you know, happen. It's called fallout from usual. You know, it's typical fallout after an acquisition. You know, there's always fallout in any acquisition. I, was I, don't, just care, say. I don't care what industry you're in. Oh, and, and that's what I kind of expected. It's just, it was, I think it just took longer for it to happen. So right. for whatever reason, you know. Well, Life usually, changes. usually they, they cut the low hanging fruit out. So the fact that it took longer is a compliment. You know, they worked their <laughs> they're working, they're working their way up to the higher hanging fruit. Never looked at that way, and I don't think I ever will again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really how it works. You look at the most expendable, lowest hanging fruit. Those those are the ones that go first. So they let Salucci go before me. Oh yeah, I'm not saying anything. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Has he been booked yet to be not on the show? No. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll get in touch with him. We've asked him like ten times. Yeah. He's too busy with the uh, Zykar uh, yeah. and quality import. Yeah, he land, he landed really well. He yeah. uh, he's he's just still talk to him all the time, and uh, he's doing really well. So were you at the trade show? This is your first now for a while non Drew trade show. Yeah, it was my uh, my first. My first, my only, my second ever IPCPR not with Drew Estate because wow. I was only one right. with Camacho. Right, right. And then, uh, yeah, it was six or seven straight with Drew, and my first one with Royal Agio. But my relationship with Royal Agio is very different. When I worked for Camacho, Royal Agio was actually distributed by Cusano. Right. So during the merger, I actually sold their Panther and Mahari. So you're already familiar with the product. And then when I was with Drew Estate, Drew Estate took over the U.S. distribution. Yeah, they had it for a while. So I was actually in charge of the distribution of it at Drew Estate, and that's when they released the Balmoral uh, and Yeho 18. So it was kind of a perfect fit for me. I already knew the brands. I already knew the people in charge. Almost like it was destiny. I'm not going to be one of those people who say that yeah, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. But yeah, maybe it's it was. It, 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 it was. It was probably was destiny the way things that worked out. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, there are six U.S. employees when I started. Wow. One of them was uh, George Marjukla, who is the president of Agio USA, who was our representative from Agio at Drew Estate. One is Jamie Flores Estrada, who was actually our VP of Marketing at Drew Estate, who left the year before me. And then the other three, ironically, was the gentleman who trained me, the gentleman who hired me, and one other from Intercontinental Cigars. So of the six 
employees. I knew five of them in my career at one point. You know, for people out there who are listening and thinking like Balmoral, well, something I was, new. I was about to say, uh, like, listen to me. <laughs> I, I bought in Balmoral to one of my my first and only retail location at the time, probably late 1999, early 2000. That's why it was in the red boxes. Yep. It was in the red boxes. I, we bought them, and it did well for a while. It did, did because it was a very mild yeah. Connecticut cigar at the time, and it did very, very well. And then I don't know what happened, mismanagement, the lost reps, everything, you know. But it just kind of faded away. And then I came back when I, I knew it came back when actually Drew took uh, distribution of it, and there was all of a I see this brand in their booth one year, and I'm like, wow. You know? That's been the most interesting part about going to work for them. Even working with them, I never really knew their history, their background, how big they really are, oh, how yeah. long they've really been around. Um, and it's really been kind of a, a, a lesson for me as myself. You know, I mean, I, I kind of joke, there's always that, uh, back in the day, I don't know if you remember, Paul McCartney did something with Kanye West, and uh, all these little kids were tweeting out, oh my God, this Paul McCartney guy, he is so lucky that Kanye's <laughs> bringing his name up. We, we've kind of become somewhat the same thing, especially with... Uh, not a fair comparison because Ernie Ernesto Perez Carrillo is, is a god in this industry. But right. when we uh, Godfather, Godfather, yes, yes. when we did a, when we did a compilation cigar with him, we had people coming to the booth going, "Wow, we've never heard of you. How how did somebody so small and so <laughs> new get a comp? You know, get to right. work with him?" And again, not the same comparison. But right. we we just kind of had to laugh and say, "Well, hey, it brought us attention." But you know, we've been around over 100 years. We're number four in the world in production. I think last year they told me it's officially 800 million sticks sold. Wow. And, uh, you know, and a good chunk of them are machine made. But it's kind of like the when Cortez bought Oliva, yeah. a lot of people had never heard. Well, this is so true. It, and it's amazing the things you have to do as you try to branch out from getting out from 100 years of history <laughs> and then recreating yourself. And, all of the <laughs> and we're going to find all of these things out and delve into this historic brand and all of the different cigars that Seb's going to push on us as we keep going on this exciting edition of KMA Talk Radio. More when we come back. Keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too! Yes, it's mandatory. Hey, Kimasabi. Dan Blunt here for Alec Bradley Cigars. Do you really want to hear another cigar ad that talks about wrappers and fillers and binders and aging and ratings? Blah, blah, blah. Tell you what, pick up an Alec Bradley cigar, smoke it, enjoy it, spend an hour with it, and you'll be one happy camper. That's all you need to know. We'll talk to you again real soon. If you had to pack a go bag, what would go in it? For Pepe Mendez, it was his rare Pilo Tico tobacco seeds, which he personally carried to the Dominican Republic half a century ago. In tribute, we introduced the Monte Cristo Pilo Tico Pepe Mendez, a robust cigar with nutty, leathery notes and a slow burn that marks the rebirth of a golden age. Try the new Monte Cristo at your local cigar lounge, and you may want to pack one to go too. Surgeon General Warning, tobacco smoke increases the risk of lung cancer and heart disease even in non-smokers. Tobacco legend Julio Aroa and his son, Justo Aroa, bring back the authentic Corojo and Aladino cigars. A true Cuban Puro, giving homage to original vintage Vitolas. Aladino cigars are also available in a dark, rich Maduro wrapper. JRE Tobacco has an unwavering commitment for consistency and quality. Experience our commitment to excellence in any one of our three lines. The Aladino, the Rancho Luna, and the Tatascan. Light up a JRE cigar today. Visit JREtobacco.com. Cigar enthusiasts, did you know your personal freedom to enjoy a fine cigar is affected by some form of smoking ban in all 50 states? Additionally, taxation on premium cigars is at its highest level in history, with some states taxing at an astronomical rate of 75%. Finally, there's a solution. CRA, Cigar Rights of America, is the first and only nonprofit public advocacy association fighting for your freedom to enjoy a fine cigar. Don't just sit there. Become part of the solution. Become a CRA member today. Membership is only $35 a year. That's less than $3 a month. And as a special bonus, CRA will send you two limited edition cigars as a way to say thank you for joining. 
Visit CigarRights.org for more information and to become a member. Hoya de Nicaragua proudly announces the release of Cuatro Cinco Reserva Especial, a carefully modified recipe containing a unique and exceptional selection of barrel-aged grade-A fillers and a beautiful silky shade-grown Habano wrapper. From the legendary Jalapa Valley, produced in small quantities, this exceptional medium to full-bodied cigar will continue to captivate consumers with its rich Nicaraguan complexity, subtle woody and sweet flavors, and a velvety finish. Try a Cuatro Cinco Reserva Especial today. Since the dawn of time, the universe has been constantly evolving. Now experience the evolution of flavor. Sindicato Cigars, available in Ecuadorian shade-grown Carrojo and San Andres Marron wrappers, are beautifully crafted by master blender Arsenio Ramos. Using a double-leaf binder and meticulously box-pressed, Sindicato Cigars provide the perfect draw to deliver the evolved flavors you won't soon forget. Visit SindicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer of Sindicato Cigars. CLE Cigar Company presents CLE Cigars, Eroa Cigars, and Asylum Cigars. With four generations and over 120 years of experience in tobacco, from seed to smoke, these cigars are produced in Honduras and Nicaragua with the utmost care and precision possible. CLE Cigar Company introduces a vast array of tobaccos in various sizes to bring the highest quality of premium tobacco direct for your enjoyment. Visit CLECigars.com for more information. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too! Yes, it's mandatory. Well, welcome back to KMA Talk Radio. Broadcasting live here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I am Adam K. The Brewmeister. With me, of course, Mr. Honest Abe himself. Good morning. And I had to go out and get the shovel during that break. Oh, you had to bury someone? No, I'm going to start digging. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. This segment. Uh-oh. Dig- Uh-oh. <laughs> Digging deep into the history of Royal Audio? No, but look, look, you know, as an employer, as a former employee in all these situations, you know, there's, there's a lot of emotions that go on in this type of process, either whether you're letting somebody go or you're hiring somebody, whatever. So, you know, I, I want to talk to you about your emotions. How was the trade show? How was, did you go by the DE booth? Did you, did you touch sacred soil <laughs> for ground? Those, for those of you just tuning in, we are talking you know, it's key of Royal Audio. You know, or did you, did the skin start to burn yeah. as you got close, and, you know, and, and, and you start catching in, fire? In, in all honesty. Or, or here's another Is good one. Is that what the fire was started by? <laughs> <laughs> or he, <laughs> Actually, I got a text about that. <laughs> or, or, or here's another good question. Is it difficult to work in a booth where you're not blaring music all the time? <laughs> That's pretty funny. When you're used to it for seven years, yes. in all honesty, it did get a little complicated. But wait, I don't have to yell at the top of my lungs. But right? no, it was okay. The Balmoral booth just didn't happen to be like right across no, the aisle. That would have been like awesome. We were, we were back in the corner. Um, <laughs> now you know you you asked emotionals. Listen, you know everything happened in December. The show was already six months away. Still my, early. My, six my life, but mentally I thought I had moved on. When I got there, it, it was very emotional. It was actually, really? it was hard. I mean, yes, I purposely tried to stay away for everybody's sake, just to kind of so nothing looks awkward, comes across awkward. Plus, there's only six of us. So we had to do everything in the booth. You're busy. Um, Did anybody come to visit? A couple guys came to visit. Did I, they? I saw a lo- That's nice. Uh, yeah, I saw a lot of them at the bar. Everybody hangs out always at the same bar. Right. Um, but, you know, people got to remember, I hired or promoted 90% of the sales staff that's in that company currently. So they're my kids. Are there... Is there anybody that like didn't so- seek you out or say hi that you thought, man, you know, I figured, you know, yeah, there were yeah. people that there was people didn't. There was one that actually came in my booth and actually walked right by me like they didn't know me. That's wow, what that's what I was gonna ask. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah. but in, in all honesty, ninety nine percent of people either came by, sought me out in the lobby, you know, said in the, hello. In the so. of people like that. I mean, I, 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 don't, don't, I, I don't know who he, it is. This person looked uncomfortable. It wasn't that they were mad. Most people don't know how, yeah. don't, don't know how to yeah. handle those awkward. situations. It's yeah. awkward. They yeah. don't know what to do. Are you mad at me? Am I mad at you? It's like a no. love affair. It's, it's, the the majority know. of them were, were completely hospitable, nice. I mean, some of them actually, I mean, obviously overly nice. But for me, it was hard. I mean, six and a half years or seven years in that booth. And oh, yeah. Being a part of everything, and I mean, my, my background, even though Marvin's not around, but thinking of all the things I had gone through, and all of a sudden, wait, I'm not in that four walls i'm an outsider but did you run into jd no i don't think i actually didn't run, into him, of, once. Didn't run into him once he was too busy hanging out with rick ross as we found out last week <laughs> yeah so we heard <laughs> yeah who coop didn't know who that was i didn't know who that was in you didn't defense. that's right i didn't know who that was in coop's defense so yeah, i can't say that all right enough of the uh the uh nitty gritty yes the, the nitty gritty down and dirty it's getting Let's, hot it's getting hot in there so now that we, <laughs> actually it's kind of chilly you guys are saying this brand balmoral's been around for a couple decades a long time okay and uh, I got these four actually very nice looking cigars 
Why don't you tell us a little bit about these? Then? All right. So basically, I mean, simply put, a couple years ago, they came out with the uh, Balmoral Añejo XO, which is the Brazilian Arapa Rocka wrapper. It was released during the Drew Estate time. Um, one of the things that Boris himself, when he blends cigars, he just is in love with Brazilian Mata, Mata Norte. It's just a tobacco he's always loved. So he put this together. It's a medium body. It's got a little bit of meat to it. It's it's um, but it's got this subtle natural complexity and sweetness on the back end, which kind of comes from that Mata Norte. So basically, the goal this year, though we make the majority of our money worldwide and we produce a ton of cigars, his focus is on this premium handmade line. Our factory's been down in the, the DR since 1990. So what he did was we basically expanded the portfolio instead of being an orphan of one brand. So this year we added in the uh, Connecticut and the Oscuro. Uh, the Connecticut uses a traditionally cr Connecticut grown actual wrapper. It's got some uh, Pennsylvania 40 P41 in there as well. And again, it's got that stock cut proprietary Mata Norte in it. So it has a similar finish on it, a little bit of sweetness. And then the Oscuro is a San Andreas Oscuro. Again, to give it a little more oomph, more body. None of them are mild. Um, they're all in the medium plus range. A lot of flavor, very complex, but very easy to smoke. Now, now this is a real interesting looking band. This one's actually uh, an interesting one. It's part very of what, what we're calling, it's the first release in the Seri Signaturas, and I don't have the good uh, Spanish accent, so the Signature okay. Series. But uh, basically what it is, it was actually blended between Boris Winderman and Ernesto Perez Carrillo, who, as we said earlier, is the godfather yes. I mean, of the industry. It uses uh, primarily his wrapper, binder, and a lot of his Nicaraguan fillers. They blended it together, but inside there is a little bit of our tobacco as well as that Mata Norte that we talked about. Um, it was kind of funny, just you know, people's reaction, as, as I think we've talked about before. I mean, people were coming in the booth and saying, who are you guys? And, <laughs> right? But it was great because it really brought our name into... Uh, into people's minds. He actually produces an Ernesto in his factory. Oh, wow. Um, where it's not a limited. We're calling it semi-limited kind of as a joke because, I mean, at the end of the day, we all know when somebody else is producing a cigar for you, you're kind of at the whim of production or guessing on production plans. Um, but it's a full production cigar. comes in 10-count boxes. It adds a little more oomph for that Nicaraguan tobacco that knows. It, it's just to keep it simple. The presentation is is, uh, is a very wide artistic box. Um, it. It, it's... It's special. It's something very special for us. It's it's going to be something that's going to be an ongoing. Did you um, mention production. the price point on that yet? Um, all of them, uh, it, the entire four between are between probably about eight fifty and thirteen across the entire line. So it's not an inexpensive line. It, no, no, it's it's not. It's meant to, it's meant to be at the premium, super premium level. I mean, the tobaccos. You know, if you've seen videos of them talking about it, you know, they talk about they use the top five percent percent tobaccos in the world. It's one of those things that sounds like a cheesy tagline, but at the end of the day, we're producing eight hundred million sticks a year. Boris wants to use the best tobacco. So, in all honesty, he's got a little buying power. Now, um, uh, now obviously, <coughs> you've brought up Boris. And for those... Boris. Boris. For those Boris. of our listeners who are not familiar, because he's not one of those, you know, obviously, people have heard of Ernesto, and we've talked about EPC before, but who is Boris? Where is Boris's background? Can tell us a little bit about Boris as the master blender. Yeah, so, so Boris Vinterman, he's a fourth generation now CEO of the company. Obviously, it's been around over 100 years. Um, when he took over, I mean, obviously, they run like a machine when it comes to what they do worldwide, but he's always been a tobacco geek. Um, I mean, ironically, I think he's in, like, Western Canada right now, just on his own, no cell service. He um, he has this line that he uses all the time, and it's, uh, when was the last time you tried something for the first time? So in his mind, a lot of this is he wanted to do something that the company's never done. He, you know, obviously, they've got their money, they do their business, but he wanted to take it in a different direction. So he's always loved premium tobacco. He knows a lot of these people throughout the industry. It was interesting to walk through the show floor with him. You, you know, people can say that, but right. as he's walking, everybody is stopping him. Every name right. you can think of. So he has his flavor profiles. He has what he likes. And, uh, you know, he blends basically with the help of our master blender down in uh, the DR. They blend all of our cigars. So if you're watching or listening to the show on uh, Facebook Live, you want to ask Zev a question. Just to type in your question with the hashtag AskKMA so we can find them because the comments in Facebook Live is kind of... Too many comments. Up. Yeah, it gets weird. Sometimes you can't find them. So if you hashtag uh, AskKMA, uh, we'll ask uh, Zev your question. Uh, Heather wanted to know who's repping Florida. 
<laughs> um, well, she's out on herself now, Miss Payne. Yeah, still call ac- Payne. actually, actually, as of August first, yeah. that's what we'll say it. Heather will be repping us in Florida. Oh, she is. Yes. Oh, that, that, was, no wonder she bought it up. Yeah, I was wondering why she would bring that up. Um, God, every every time I think I'm done having to deal with her, it comes back. Well, that was actually part of her interview. She, she heard it. She heard that. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> she actually, I'm kidding, Heather. We love you. She said on the interview that she Don't only we wants have a it tickle, to harass tickle, him. Tickle, tickle somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to have to do the sound effects for the show. Tickle, 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 tickle. Just uh, somebody get me an iPad I can plug in and we'll start getting the sound effects loaded up in that. It's all right. Oh, boy. Uh, Ooh. So where will you leave off? I don't, I don't know. I got, I got a side See, Heather messed everything up again. Tickle, tickle, tickle. There you go. There you go. It. Wow. Now we can move on. I okay. feel fulfilled. Right. So there you go. So Heather will be taking over in August 1st, but we are bra- here to break news all over the place. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, uh, he's still going on tickle, tickle, tickle. Uh, completely. So, obviously. So, it, it's interesting, you know, Boris is a fourth generation of tobacco growers. You say he's a tobacco geek. I mean, was his father a tobacco geek as well? Or how did he get into being this tobacco? I, ironically, they're actually not tobacco growers. They, they're they pure purchasers. Um, ah. He just, growing up in the industry, being around the factories, I've got a frank factories in Belgium and Sri Lanka and the DR, being around the tobacco purchasing, he just fell in love with the premium aspect, the premium tobacco side of it. So he's really the first generation to really put his focus into it. Um, he just, you know, I guess when you grow up with it, a lot of the names you hear out there, you just fall in love with it and you really get a good taste for it. And, he wa- you know, that's that's who he is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I got a whatever from John Callahan. He's not, he's not thrilled with my... Well, and the funny thing is that I think John thought that I was the one saying Mr. Payne, and I had to explain to him when we saw him in person for the first time. I was like, listen, I'm on your side, man. Please. He's a big dude. I, like, don't hurt me. Well, dude, it wasn't my, me. My, my three-year-old's a big dude next to you. <laughs> <laughs> he is actually a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to get more with Zev about the Palmoral brands, the Royal Agios. What's it like working with this new company? And so many more things. When we come back, keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too. Yes, it's mandatory. Mike Bellady has collaborated with industry legends Don Pepin Garcia, Manuel Quesada, and Ernesto Perez Carrillo to make some of the industry's most highly touted cigars. Through his company, MLB Cigars, Mike brings you four incredible and unique blends. Imperia, Imperia Islero, Imperia Aventador, and the David P. Ehrlich Tremont. MLB Cigars are made with the best minds in the industry. Visit us at MLBCigarVentures.com and follow us on social media. Imperia and David P. Ehrlich Cigars. Developed by legends, smoked by connoisseurs. Hi, this is Rocky Patel, and I'd like to invite you to try one of our Decade Cigars. This premier cigar received a 95 rating from Cigar Aficionado, one of the highest ratings ever afforded by that magazine. It's a beautiful Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper with fillers from Nicaragua and Honduras. This cigar is medium to full-bodied, rich, complex, yet elegant and well-balanced. I promise you, you're going to love the Decade. Try it. When Dominican passion, artistry, and skill combine with 114 years of family legacy, you don't just have a cigar, you have the cigar. Whether you love the mild, flavorful La Aurora 1987 Connecticut, the spicy 1962 Corojo, or the always smooth, sweet La Aurora 1903 Cameroon, you aren't just enjoying a part of history, you're lighting your own legacy, flavor, value, family. Be a part of something. Look to the lion. Smoke La Aurora. We are Dominican defined. Looking for something unique and awesome? Smoke Oscar Valdara Cigars. 2012 Connecticut. 2012 Corojo. 2012 Maduro. The Oscar Habano. The Oscar Maduro. My Way and our latest creation, Oscar Valdara's Cicerone Edition. A great cigar that comes in five different collectible boxes with an amazing exclusive artwork. Remember, Oscar has something unique and awesome waiting for you. Ask for Oscar Cigars in your favorite cigar shop. Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust and its master ligador, Steve Saka, is crafting the very finest cigars available today. One such brand is his Todos Los Dias. This liga is very smooth with tastes of dark chocolate and figs with a nice sweet chili pepper that escalates in warmth as you smoke it. On the palate, it feels like a medium-bodied smoke, but it is lying to you as this cigar is quite strong. 
From the first puff, there is no doubt of the origin of Todos Los Dias, or that it is intended solely for the seasoned cigar smoker. Viva Nicaragua! To affinity and beyond. That is where Affinity Cigars will take you. These mild to medium cigars use only the finest select high-grade Ecuadorian Connecticut tobacco, creating a cigar that delivers a smooth, rich, creamy smoke with the gentleness of a mother's touch. Affinity Cigars have become America's go-to cigar for that flavorful yet unintimidating smoking experience. Visit SyndicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer. Insurance companies have a very unique business model that the general public doesn't understand. Insurance companies make profit only one way, taking in premiums and paying out less on claims than they take in premiums. In doing this, they oftentimes deny legitimate people with viable claims fair compensation. We know accidents happen, they happen every day. The good thing about insurance is it helps people do the right thing when they've caused accidents. You know, if I cause an accident, the first thing I want to do is make sure the person is okay, the, per the person's taken care of. The insurance gives us the ability to do the right thing. Uh, unfortunately, the insurance company uh, treats people like statistics instead of human beings. And that's why you need an experienced attorney to make sure the insurance company does the right thing. Laws. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too. Yes, it's mandatory. Well, welcome back to KMA Talk Radio. Broadcasting live here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I'm Adam K. The Brewmeister. With me, of course, Mr. Honest Abe himself. Good morning. Hello, hello. Nice shirt. You like the collared effect? Yeah. I thought it would be a little more classier. Yeah. You know, it's the same shirt you're wearing. I know. But like, uh, the collar. The collar. Yeah, I just wanted to feel a little more, you know. I don't know. What. Professional? Don't know. Yeah, you know. I like the little... Yeah, little of course. Uh, Zev also is wearing a sunshine puppy monkey nut shirt. Is that <laughs> yeah, what is that? Sun, what, no, dog... It's, it, it's, got a, it's got a person... Is it, personal like a, if you look at the back, it's... Uh, Sobman? SOB, it's uh, Sober? Son of, son of a bitch monkey nuts. Uh, uh, we might have to drop that. Maybe. maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. All right. It, this is one of those things that reminds me again. Emotional time for me. So son of a bitch, monkey nuts is okay. <laughs> I, yes, I believe by FCC rules the B word is okay. I just don't want to say it too much because when you say things in repetition too many times, then they get angry. So I shouldn't say "son of a bitch, monkey nuts." Is that what you're telling me? I, you know, some of our affiliates may not like it. I just trying to clarify what what it act, what it actually is, so we don't have to say it again. Is you know, <laughs> I, I, no, I, I, I talk about how it is emotional time wants, for He wants me. to be off the air for ten minutes. <laughs> For those, you, for those you, welcome, welcome back to those of you who have missed out on the full length edition of <laughs> right KMA Talk Radio. So, what does it pertain to? It's, it's uh, one of the cigar safaris at Drew Estate that we used to take uh, very high level Marine Corps down uh, members every year, Lieutenant up. This is kind of something that is theirs among their own private group. So, when you oh. earn one of the shirts, it's kind of a big deal. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, for me, it was just something that, you know, again, emotional time, kind of reminding me of a lot of the good times I've had throughout this industry. So, nice. Plus, it fits. Nice. <laughs> That works, too. <laughs> that works, Always too. Always a big fan of things that fit, yes. So, during Clean. the break, we touched base on some of the price points. This Balmoral is is a more of a premium, higher-end line than the original one I used to sell Absolutely. two decades ago, almost. So this is this is a... And part of the problem, you said, is there's only six rollers. Well, it's a very... It's, I, it I might mean, the be tobacco... Sick. I haven't I mean, been down there yet. It's, 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 it's a very limited... It's a very limited production, estate, right. especially the tobacco, the Brazilian Mata Norte, that's his. It, it is a very small quantity that he can get, so it raises the price. So that kind of keeps the price point along the same line. It is top 5% tobacco, so it always keeps it higher priced. Um, you know, I guess we could have gone a little lesser, kind right. of cheap. Well, some I mean, of it is what it is. You didn't want to, so it keeps it at that super premium level. Um, but, you know, in all reality, we do have another brand that we yeah, released I'm at the show. Tell us about this brand here. This is the San Pedro? San Pedro de Macaris is actually the name of the town and the factory that we have down in the DR since 1990. So it's actually... In some way, it's a blend for them, for that town. So in the case of the uh, Brazilian, it, it is the same Arapa Raca that's on the, the uh, Balmoral XO, just obviously a little bit lower primings. It's got a, um, a Dominican filler. It's a medium body, but it's a 450 to 650 price point. Uh, comes in little cabinet boxes of 20. Um, we also do it in, in, a, in a, 
an Ecuadorian Connecticut. And, and the goal to this is for the more price conscious, still getting very high grade tobaccos, just for the more price conscious smoker for the everyday smoke. Now, obviously being a, an Ecuadorian Connecticut, I mean, even just on the aroma of just of the initial foot here, it's, it's a little bit of a spicy Connecticut. I'm just pulling that off. Is it, That's or is it, is it, is it, we haven't smoked that one. No, no, the, yeah, no. These, I mean, they just came out of the show. Yeah, and again, the, the blending inside uses a lot of the same tobaccos, lower primings, different primings. So these are not meant to be mild, straight, creamy. They're meant to give you similar flavor profiles, similar strengths, similar complexity in a more price-conscious version. Aha! Uh -huh, I see what's going on there. So, now, wh okay, what's with the, the label? Is there any story behind the... It uh, sounded like a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That was like a line from Scooby-Doo. Uh -huh, Aha! <laughs> I you see, see his, what's going on there. His eyes were open wider than they've ever been before. He was like, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> Go ahead. It was just a comment. All righty. So, yes, we were talking about the logo with... The rooster, since we're already dumping the show a bunch of different times. <laughs> so basically, if you look at, I mean, the marketing behind it, and I don't know if you want to hold it up in front, yeah. if I'm getting the right spot. Yeah, we um, don't know. We just kind of guess. Ev everything, <laughs> everything's being, you know, it's basically down to their culture symbols that they use in that town, um, colors, palettes, same as well. So it's something that's, and I haven't been down there yet, so I haven't. How big seen is it. this town? It's a very small town. It's about an hour outside of um, where everybody else is down there. Um, I've been there where everybody else is. Yeah, I, I like I that place. That they, I'm, I'm, I got, I, they I, everybody knows yeah. I had a fire, you know, this morning at the ho last night in the hotel. So I'm a little tired. And I just blanked on the main town in in the DR. Um, so it's a very small town on the on the outskirts of where most of the other factories are. So a lot of the the logos, the branding, the colors have actually a lot to do with that town itself. Yeah, oh, that is very Ooh. cool, very impressive. We have a question from a listener. Okay, uh, they uh, they'd like to know about your tattoos. You are very tatted up, pretty colorful. Two sleeves, two full sleeves, two, two full sleeves, and a new one. Uh, right I don't here. know. Does that count as a full sleeve? Well, uh, I don't know. Does it count? I mean, it's a full arm. Yeah, it's a full but arm. It's a full this arm. Is a full sleeve. Yes. I'm not <laughs> up on the technical definition well of I always see like a full sleeve is like a sleeve of a like, shirt yeah. like, like you're like, not like that's that. a full sleeve yeah, yeah you're not seeing skin yeah. that's a lot of tattoos on an arm I, don't, I mean don't well, know by definition if that would be a full sleeve so the the, 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 the point behind this is uh, this. <laughs> now you know da -na -na -na. I'm going to help Rudy out today <laughs> now you know there you go he's got and he's now got you know I'm here for you bro <laughs> Rudy, Rudy, so, Rudy. So, so tell us about him, Zev, because well, the only one other person here with tattoos other than Colin is Abe, because Adam and I don't. You don't have any tattoos, right, Adam? That we don't know about. No, Rudy. So, Rudy's you've got seen me in a towel. Wait, you Rudy's know got eight of them. You just no, can't Rudy see them. Rudy doesn't have any tattoos. You just can't see them. I tell you, <laughs> they're all. He's all tatted up. You so, just can't see them. So every tattoo has some kind of a meaning. So a, a young lady listener was asking I, I about your tattoos. I think most tattoos. tattoos would have meaning. No one just walks in and says, "Yo, oh, go, give me that right I there. actually have uh, some friends some that people, have done that. Some people really? do, do. I've been in shops while people are going, like, I want that. Okay. No, make, but, uh, make it something pretty. Yeah. that's Well, that was just it. I just wanted to make something pretty. That's that's the reason So behind. tell, I mean, very I so know, military. The, the, the yes, truth yes. be told, what, what, it, what it started as is, you know, I, I come from a, a very different background, again, than a lot of people in the cigar industry. I grew up in a very sheltered Upper middle class life. Uh, after high school, I failed out of college. My family disowned me. Uh, didn't have a college degree. I've got a strange name. So it's people like everybody I know, me. kind of. And uh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's very true. But, but no, but that's go comes back to what a lot of this is. Then really working in the cigar industry in the Carolinas, I spent a lot of time outside of Fort Bragg, Camp Lejeune, and you know, I, I realized as I looked at my life, and I have a very good life. Though everything I've been through, I mean, I can't complain about where I am. No one should complain. So it right. became this 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 American pride. And I know, you know, then what happened was over the last couple of years, last decade it's been a very uh, divisive time in america and i just decided that you know what i'm going to do this and it's going to be basically number one to remind me every day that i live in the greatest country in the world that, that uh i have the opportunities i have you know which i wouldn't have had in most other countries and on the flip side i, I spent a lot of time with these military guys with first responders and realizing what they do for us so it just started that way as a tradition as so a tradition tired for them. of everybody knocking this country all day long yeah. i'm telling you it's driving me nuts look I used to be petrified of death, like literally petrified. Like when I stop and think about, like I know I'm going to die someday. I, I'm almost looking forward to it that I'm not going to be around when this, sh when this all goes to stop. You're not looking forward to it. No, but I, no, no. What I'm, what I'm, okay. I'm not looking forward to death. Okay. What I am happy about is that I probably won't be here in 30, 40 years when to see what state this planet's going to be in. Let's put it that way. I would think that you would agree that that things like this are cyclical. Because I, we we go through the same cycle. No, no man. Years. No, we we broke the seal. Social media <laughs> and Facebook and now every no, look. 
here's the point. Whatever's going on right now, I kind of I kind of believe on some level existed anyway, right? There was all these guys who nothing's ever good enough and the world's all we didn't hear it. Because they couldn't voice it. Right. Out. Now everybody's a superstar. We just gave every psychopath a megaphone. Literally. <laughs> and and what that does is that wakes up all the sleeping psychopaths. You know, they're like in a slumber. It's like vampires in a cave. You know, they're all, but you wake one up, and now they're all talking. And look, I don't know where this is, but I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the whining. Look, I even said, uh, now you got me on a tangent. I'm sorry. This but is no, a soapbox. No, no. I don't I'm know. Just, I'm just not allowed alert. to do this stuff. I have a history. And, oh, no, no. I'm just going to listen. Well, well, your attention, please. Looks like Abe has climbed up on his soapbox <laughs> again. Please return to your seats and keep your seatbelts fastened. We should be through this in just a moment. But look, you see the goosebumps on my arm? Do you see the goosebumps? Yeah, they're, they're there. Really, they're there. Right. Adam's actually looking. You know, I hit him for a second because look, I, I get I get riled up and I'm and I'm tired of it. It's not what you're saying. It is. It's out of control. Every, nothing's ever good enough. I'm to the point now where it's not even what I think is best for the country anymore. I almost want to see Trump lose because I don't know if I could tolerate another four years of, of all these the crazy whiny ones. little crybabies and the world's miserable and all. The, I'm telling you. And where does this end? Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Because I'm going to tell you something. If Trump loses in four years, what do I like to consider myself part of the right? So I don't know how far right you want to determine I am. I'm not an extremist, right? But I'm I'm on the right. What is 95 percent of us in the right going to do? We're going to go to work the next day. We're going to be productive. We're going to go on with our lives. Maybe make a post. Oh, da, da, whatever. That's it. That's what's going to happen. But I'm going to tell you something. Another four years, they're going to push to the point where I, I'm telling you this country is probably going to break out in a civil war. And I don't know how the left's going to win because they don't believe in the right to bear arms. <laughs> You're going to lose. You're going to lose. Because I, I don't get it. I'm telling you. I, I would consider you more libertarian, though. I think you're more like I don't know what just the right of Listen to me. I don't know what the definitions are. I really am. I, 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 I like to call myself I'm the common sense party. You know? <laughs> Is have a little common sense. Are you a registered? Yeah, it's probably you and three. I'm a registered yeah. Republican. You're a registered yeah. Republican. Yes, absolutely. Adam? Registered Independent. And Zev, if you want to talk about it. Registered Independent. Yeah, so I was a registered Independent, and then when I had to redo when I moved, I actually did no party affiliation. So I don't know if that hurts me or helps me, but, you know. I didn't even know that you was just can't. You just can't vote in a primary, and ne neither can Zev and I. Correct. Yep. That's yeah. pretty Which much about it. Which is stupid. Yeah, why not? Why don't you get in a Why not? Because I'm not a registered affiliate to a certain party. So what does that have to do with voting they're, in a primary? They're, they're, okay, we got to go. Right. Keep oh, it oh. lit. Win a date with Adam K., the Brewmeister. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I'm overjoyed. It's, um, I didn't even have breakfast. I just went out the house. Win a date with Adam K., the Brewmeister. It's already changing my life. I'm thinking of, <laughs> like, with the family, with myself, uh, having the accessibility and the option is, is really what it's, what it's about. Win a date with the Brewmeister. One of the things is that you can go with your kids and, like, have memories and, like, go on road trips. So it's also a bonding thing for the family. It's nice sometimes to just have the, uh, the freedom to go on a ride, you know, just take a drive. Well, we're going to make that happen. Win a date with the Brewmeister. And the winner is... We'll never know really what her true feelings are. Wow. She's not allowed to share those feelings. Wow. But she's also used to uh, meeting controversial figures. But wow. I think the fact that the meeting went over by 17 minutes indicates that they were perhaps quite enjoying their tea together. Win a date with Adam K. the Brewmeister. Dutch treat, of course. That's fantastic. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too! Yes, it's mandatory. The Southeast Club of the Year is Spearmint Rhino, where every night is a party surrounded by the hottest entertainers from around the world. Start your week like a rock star with Magnum Mondays, Belvedere, and Moe Magnums. Only $100. Keep it going with $10 Tuesdays, $10 dances all day, all night. Every Warrior Wednesday, they salute those who serve with 20% off tabs and $100 bottles for first responders and active military. Offering drink and food specials daily and guest DJs 
Hurricanes Weekly Experiment Rhino is South Florida sports headquarters. Watch your favorite sporting events, including boxing and UFC matches that can all be viewed from many large screen HD TVs. Party in South Florida's best adult playground and head over to Spearmint Rhino and mention at the door, Honest Abe sent you for free entry. That's right, free entry. Also available to all military with valid ID. For more information or employment opportunities, visit SpearmintRhino.com or stop by in person. WSVU North Palm Beach. W240CI North Palm Beach. W295BJ Jupiter. W223CJ West Palm Beach. Once in a lifetime, something comes along that changes the game. That time is now. The Blast by Infinity is the most advanced, scientifically proven multi-purpose protectant on the market today. The Blast eliminates all smoke and odor on contact and creates a long-lasting barrier of protection. The Blast works on clothing, textiles, and hard surfaces. Water-based, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, 100% guaranteed. Safe for human and pets. Visit InfinityOdorShield.com. Nesta Miranda has always believed it's not just cigars, it's a lifestyle. And the Nesta Miranda collection is handmade at My Father Cigars in Esteli, Nicaragua for your lifestyle. It doesn't matter if you're smooth like the Connecticut, mellow as a Habano, bold like the Maduro, or spicy like the all-new Corojo. The Nesta Miranda collection is blended with your lifestyle in mind. Four sizes, four blends, one life. Celebrate your lifestyle with the cigars of the Nesta Miranda collection today. Cigar enthusiasts, did you know your personal freedom to enjoy a fine cigar is affected by some form of smoking ban in all 50 states? Additionally, taxation on premium cigars is at its highest level in history, with some states taxing at an astronomical rate of 75%. Finally, there's a solution. CRA, Cigar Rights of America, is the first and only nonprofit public advocacy association fighting for your freedom to enjoy a fine cigar. Don't just sit there. Become part of the solution. Become a CRA member today. Membership is only $35 a year. That's less than $3 a month. And as a special bonus, CRA will send you two limited edition cigars as a way to say thank you for joining. Visit CigarRights.org for more information and to become a member. The Oliva family, the makers of some of the most affordable yet highest rated premium cigars available. For seven straight years, Cigar Aficionado has rated Oliva as one of the best cigars of the year. And Oliva has a cigar for all smokers. From the newly released Gilberto Oliva Reserva to the bold and rich Oliva Serie V. Oliva cigars can be found at a tobacconist near you. So always ask for Oliva, an unbeatable value and uncompromising quality. The Oliva family of cigars. A brand more than 100 years in the making, Particulares was established in Havana, Cuba in 1895, operating as an elite factory that would later introduce the world to classic brands such as Byron, Particulares, and even Monte Cristo. Now, Sindicato Cigars is proud to bring this historic brand back to life, partnering with the legendary Topsa factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, to reimagine this Cuban classic as a modern-day Nicaraguan puro. Transport yourself to a bygone era of Cuban nostalgia with Particulares by Sindicato. For more information, visit syndicato.com. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too! Yes, it's mandatory. Monitor three humidors at once from one simple device. Caring for your cigars is easy with the new PuroTemp wireless hygrometer from Zycar. You now have the ability to monitor the humidity and temperature in three humidors without even having to open them. Ensure protection by setting simple alerts that will warn you when your cigars are not in the optimal environment. Like everything Zycar, this is backed by their lifetime warranty. Stop by your local tobacconist to purchase yours today. Zycar for life. To Affinity and beyond. That is where Affinity Cigars will take you. These mild to medium cigars use only the finest select high-grade Ecuadorian Connecticut tobacco, creating a cigar that delivers a smooth, rich, creamy smoke with the gentleness of a mother's touch. Affinity Cigars have become America's go-to cigar for that flavorful yet unintimidating smoking experience. Visit SindicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer. The Oliva family, the makers of some of the most affordable yet highest rated premium cigars available. For seven straight years, Cigar Aficionado has rated Oliva as one of the best cigars of the year. 
and Oliva has a cigar for all smokers. From the newly released Gilberto Oliva Reserva to the bold and rich Oliva Siri V. Oliva cigars can be found at a tobacconist near you, so always ask for Oliva. An unbeatable value and uncompromising quality. The Oliva family of cigars. The recently released Perdomo Double Age 12-Year Vintage is an extremely rare blend of Perdomo's finest and most cherished 12-year-old fillers, binders, and wrappers. Bale aged for 10 years and then barrel aged in bourbon barrels for an additional two years, these exquisite Nicaraguan tobaccos are bursting with rich, complex flavors. Offered in Connecticut, Sun Grown, or Maduro, available at only 250 authorized tobacconists worldwide, the Perdomo Double Age 12-Year Vintage is a must-have for every cigar enthusiast. Monte Cristo has set the standard once again, turning back the hands of time by utilizing a long-forgotten, unique aging process that harmonizes the flavors of the wrapper, binder, and filler with the use of small pilones. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured is an exquisite cigar you must try now. Available nationally for the first time, Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured features a 2006 Nicaraguan Rosado Oscuro wrapper that is both beautiful and distinctive. This cigar is a masterpiece no one should miss. Make sure you get one today at your local tobacconist. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured. Awarded the 2014 Nicaraguan Cigar of the Year with numerous 90-plus ratings, the Perdomo 20th Anniversary Cigar celebrates Tabacalera Perdomo's 20 years as one of Nicaragua's largest premium cigar manufacturers. Using only the highest priming tobaccos grown exclusively by the Perdomo family, the 20th Anniversary Cigar has a tremendous profile with layer upon layer of rich, elegant, complex flavors. Visit your nearest authorized tobacconist today and experience the masterful blend of these Nicaraguan puros. Now available in extremely limited edition pyramid size in Sun Grown or Maduro. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too. Yes, it's mandatory. Welcome back to KMA Talk Radio, broadcasting live here at Palm Beach Garden Sport. I'm Adam Kidd, the Brewmeister. With me, of course, the host with the most, Mr. Honest himself. Good morning. Man, that break couldn't come at a better time. We were slipping down a tangent there at the end of the first hour. I had to get out and find myself a bagel. It was lovely. I'm just telling you. Was, yeah. it, a, was it a wheat bagel? No, it was not. Okay. Did, just you, did Paul eat his wheat bagel yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I have my wheat bagel. It was, yeah. It, but uh, can I make a comment about it? See, this is why I get into trouble because I don't know how to not how to just say thank you and shut up. It, it was actually it was a you wheat bagel. You better learn that now that you're married. But no, <laughs> and but, you have a baby. Well, I can't do it at home, so I got to do it here. It, I always Please. get whole wheat everything bagels, and that's what you complain about. You just got me a regular whole wheat bagel. Of course, a whole wheat bagel is gonna suck. You got to get oh, whole wheat. Oh, oh, no, no, okay, wait, 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 wait. I just want to understand this. <laughs> Something that sucks that you put a little sesame seeds on and poppy seeds all of a sudden becomes good. Well, no, it sesame just seeds. Sucks with sesame seeds. Sesame yeah. seeds, poppy seeds, salt. Garlic and onion. That's what they put on. That's something that sucks. It doesn't really suck. I was just No, it sucks. No, it's good. You spoke from the heart for a moment, unfiltered. It sucks. (laughs) And this education into bagel hysteria brought to you in part by everyone from New York who loves bagels, (laughs) like Paul. And with that, let's see this week what's happening in the news on The Scoop with Coop. Hey, yo, what's my theme music? The Scoop with Coop. Breaking industry news. Hear it first on KMA Talk Radio and cigar-coop.com. Joining us, as always, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. William Cooper himself. Coop, what's happening? Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Zev. How you doing? Doing good, doing good. All right, Coop. What is happening? What is the scoop well, this first week? First off, where are you? <laughs> yeah, also Let's start with that. I'm, I'm in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Excellent. Uh, and I'll be in North Carolina for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. sure everyone around you will be happy that you're sticking around. But uh, what's the yeah, scoop exactly. this week? Um, so some of the IPCPR releases that uh, we saw showcased at the trade show are starting to hit the shows uh, the past week. Um, so there's a couple of interesting ones that I think have hit. The, the first one, and I think... Uh, I think Abe's got a few comments on this one. Is, that must be uh, there's Diablo. a new punch cigar coming out. It must be Diablo. Uh, Diablo. <laughs> must be Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, punch Diablo. It's a um, Ecuadorian Sumatra Oscuro blend um, that's over uh, Connecticut binder and Nicaraguan Honduran tobaccos in three sizes. Key thing folks need to know about this is it's being blended by AJ Fernandez. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Do you remember yep. the original? Diablo cigars, Coop. I 
very, they were, I mean, they were on the market for a very short time. It was about a year. It was about a year. I mean, basically, yeah. it, was, it was this whole campaign. They had these little devil bobbleheads. Listen, they shipped every retailer who ordered the prepack at the show this box. And this was your event box when the cigars came in. And there were white and red checkered napkins, plates, cups. My favorite, bricks of cheese. Yes, bricks of cheese that were shipped in an un uh, cooled box. Oh, that must have smelled good. Yes, great. that you were supposed to slice up and serve for this. They kind of wanted to, and I think there might have been chips or something, but they kind of wanted to do this, like, here's your event box to launch this brand. Yeah. The cheese came, was already outdated. It was very funny. This was a very, oh, funny launch. It was already outdated, and then these cigars didn't go nowhere. And I'm telling you, it's the, it's the only time in my history of, of knowing anything about the cigar industry where I think within the year, it could have eight months, I mean, it's, it, I'm going back literally... 2002, 2004, five-ish. Wow. It, it's, it's the only time in the history where they literally like recalled the brand. Like They sent the reps in, we're boxing up whatever boxes you have, we're going to call, tag it, we're going to issue a credit, we're taking this off the shelf. Is that because they all smelled like cheese? or just? I, like don't, I don't know. I've never, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I've never seen that before I've either. Never, I mean, usually they'll kill a brand and they'll tell yeah. the retailer, yeah, you're screwed. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. Sell through what you got, blow it out. They picked it all up. So you got to love the effects of FDA predicate you know, stuff. Just yeah. make it its way <laughs> back oh, into the market. It's only the beginning of what you're yeah. going to see coming I'm back. I'm telling you, when I saw that sign, Diablo, I'm like, really? I'm waiting for Stradivarius 2. Uh, oh. Listen, they're coming out with Stradivarius 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think they can. I think Matt Booth's already got that trademark. <laughs> you're, probably, you're probably 100% right. If anybody has Electric Boogaloo trademark, it's Matt Booth. Yes. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, so, Coop, what else is happening That's in the funny. news this week? Um, another another general cigar product hit the pro- uh, shelves. This was an interesting one. I actually smoked it. It's the M by Macanudo. And what you need to know about this cigar is it is a coffee-infused Macanudo. And uh, the blend's kind of geeky. So if you're kind of into uh, interesting blends, it's an Indonesian wrapper, Philippines binder, and Nicaraguan filler available in three sizes. I actually thought this wasn't a bad cigar. I smoked a few of these uh, coming back from Vegas last week. Okay. All right. So the M, a new infused product brought to you in part by the FDA. Yeah, I was going to say, just what the industry needs, another yes. fused cigar. <laughs> so, Coop, what else have we got? Has there been a rant um, by Jonathan new... anywhere about it or no? I haven't seen anything. I know this. Honestly, the first thing I'd heard about it was just right now. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, sorry, it, it, Coop. Yeah. Go ahead. It actually was an interesting thing because you think about the uh, Macanudo going after the infused market right now, which is something, you know, uh, kind of bringing those two markets together, see how that works. Just when you thought it couldn't have a third head. Now you're just getting all messed up. Go on, my friend. Uh, Oscar Valadares, uh, a new cigar has hit the shelves that was shown at the trade show. It's called the Alter Q. Uh, this is a Ecuadorian Sumatra blend over Honduran tobaccos. Um, this pays tribute to uh, the Mayan era, and in particular pays tribute to 16 Mayan kings. So each cigar is banded uh, with an with artwork representing a king, and there are 16 cigars in a box. No, when he says band, so although it's the like blends a... are all the same, you get different uh, band on it. Yeah, it's not a band; it's like a wrap. Okay, you know, it's not like a little a wrap. Yeah, it's like a it's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, like, yeah. it's a printed wrap, okay. and the box is awkward. very ornate. Yeah, yeah, it's so... very ornate. There's like 16 cigars in it, I think, and it's. It's, it's it's got its own legs. Is it supposed to look like a Mayan like ruin, like a like an no, Aztec? No, it kind of looks like uh, an old Jack in the Box on legs. Well. You know, <laughs> weird. I you, haven't I, seen I'm it. I'm not kidding. It looks. Like, it's got an overhanging top lip. I mean, this is nothing. No one's going to buy thirty boxes of and be able to stack in their store anywhere right. without a catastrophic event happening. You know, it's <laughs> just very awkward packaging. Hey. You know, my retailer hat goes off when I see stuff like that. Where am I going to put this? I look at this and say, oh, this is terrible. You know, without even touching the cigar, I mean, it just, it's just, it's a, it's a very uh, problematic. It's you know? good to have that perspective, though, because you don't, like, other people don't think about that. I've said for years that every manufacturer, anybody who's creating a brand should have a seasoned retailer, either on a committee, on a board, or on the payroll. Just as yeah, a I consultant, even. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't tell you how many catastrophic brands have been released that just a retailer can't work with. 
can't stack. You can't do the boxes you are can't all display they're, they're, it. they're playing. They're playing the Leaning Tower of Pisa in your humidor. <laughs> as soon as you stack them over five high, they're swaying back and forth. <laughs> it's just a, I'm, I'm, actually Steve Saka and I are working on a project, which we had this exact same thing. We had this concept and how we and we. It had, wouldn't work. No, it was a great idea. It was going to look great. It was going to probably as as you looked at a single unit. Sacalicious. Yes. Yeah, there you go, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. Okay. Um, as, as you look at a single unit, um, it looked great. But I'm thinking, man, you put four of these on top of each other. This ain't going to work. Right. Yeah, and we nixed it. We we nixed it. But think about how much money that saved without like actually like a, a regular manufacturer would have made a bunch of those, then brought them to you to sell them to you, and you would have been like, I can buy two of them. Well, I mean, that's, that's what eventually what happens yeah. as a retailer. You don't want to deal with it, you know, and, and unless it's like a super hot selling brand. Like, okay, let's sell those eight. And if nobody asks any more about it, just let them go. We're not going <laughs> to carry it anymore. That's what we do. That's what retailers do, right? you know. So, Coop, do you have anything else as we travel down yeah. this tangent road? What's happening also in the news? Um, here's an interesting story. You know, in the media, we never hear about the price increases, but when there's a price decrease, that we're, we're sure to always get informed about that. <laughs> and there was a very inter- there was a very interesting price decrease that was announced this week um, by a company called White Hat Cigars. And you may not have heard of that company, but one of the brands they distribute you have heard of is that is the HR line, uh, which was the line that was started a few years ago in is collaboration that still around? with uh, Hirochi Robania. They have done a 35 percent price decrease of that cigar. Well, that was because it was priced 60% too high. So one more time, <laughs> and it should be right about there. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, and that happened right after IPCPR. That What's the matter? You have a sound problem? No, did... You're looking I, 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 was, I, was, I was trying to make sure I understood what you said there, see if I needed to dump that or not. No, what did I say? No, I said it was fine. Okay, all right. I couldn't tell because it no. kind of slurred together. But no, it kind of no, no. like it, it could have been the Kubista coffee in my mouth. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that was just an exorbitantly priced cigar, really on nothing. So a uh, thirty-some price decrease is, you know, like I said, they're halfway yeah, there. Yeah. One more, and they'll be probably as on I, point. As I say all the time, if you'd like to not <laughs> sell any cigars, make sure you price them twenty dollars or higher. Uh, so Coop, what's coming up this week on CigarCoop.com? Um, we have a bunch of IP, more IPCBR recaps, including my big overall uh, IPCBR recap, which is my general thoughts on the show. Uh, I'll also have one of the first reviews of some of the new cigars. It's by Cornelius and Anthony. It's called The Jet. All right. Very cool. Make sure you check out cigar-coop.com. For Before you go to break, I want Coop stick around. You got time for another segment? Always do. Yeah, we got to talk to you. We got to find out more about this, the curse of Zev. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we're I'm need, very well informed. We're going to need. Uh, we heard you're very versed on the curse of Zev, yes, so we're going to need to get some information. All on. right, so we're going to take a break, and we will dive deeply into the curse of Zev with Coop and Zev right here on KMA Talk Radio. Keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too. Yes, it's mandatory. Bold and complex. That is the new Romeo San Andres by Romeo Lieta. Using the very best San Andres wrapper leaf available in the market, Rafael Nadal and AJ Fernandez collaborated together to create a new standard among San Andres cigars. Medium to full-bodied, this cigar is bountiful in both flavor and aroma. Available nationally for the first time, Romeo San Andres is a cigar you do not want to miss. Make sure to get one today at your local tobacconist. Romeo San Andres by Romeo y Julieta. Make your next bold journey an epic one. When it comes to cigars, only one brand delivers intense, unforgettable experiences, Camacho. In continuing this fearless tradition, Camacho brings you the newest addition to its arsenal of badass, the new Camacho BXP. Intense, box-pressed, and crafted with rugged American broadleaf fillers from Pennsylvania. Available in Connecticut, Corojo, and Ecuador. Outfit your next bold journey with the new Camacho BXP. Known the world over as the Rolls Royce of cigars, with unparalleled packaging and superb quality, Gurkha cigars are works of art that feature the rarest and best tobaccos in the industry, offering a flavor profile for every palate. The highly rated Gurkha brand creates a luxurious experience for even the most discriminating cigar smoker. So treat yourself today with an unparalleled cigar smoking experience. Visit GurkhaCigars.com to find a purveyor of Gurkha cigars near you. To Affinity and beyond. That is where Affinity Cigars will take you. These mild to medium cigars use only the finest select high-grade Ecuadorian Connecticut tobacco. 
creating a cigar that delivers a smooth, rich, creamy smoke with the gentleness of a mother's touch. Affinity Cigars have become America's go-to cigar for that flavorful yet unintimidating smoking experience. Visit SindicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer. When a child is diagnosed with cancer, their life and their family's life changes dramatically. Chemotherapy treatments, doctor visits, and trips to the hospital soon consume their time. The programs and services provided by the Kids Cancer Foundation make it possible for the foundation to meet the needs of our young patients and families. We could not provide these resources without your support. For more information and to find out how you can make a difference in the life of a child battling cancer, call 561-333-8116 or visit kidscancersf.org. Sponsored by CLE Cigars. Ventura Cigar Company is a boutique cigar brand born in sunny Southern California. Ventura Cigar Company is on a mission to create memorable, complex cigar blends that excite the senses and reward discriminating palates. Experience the Cigar Aficionado number 13 Cigar of the Year. The archetype, Axis Mundi. Rise up, step up, look up, fire up, and leave compromise behind with Ventura Cigar Company. Check them out online at VenturaCigar.com. Monte Cristo has set the standard once again, turning back the hands of time by utilizing a long-forgotten, unique aging process that harmonizes the flavors of the wrapper, binder, and filler with the use of small pilones. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured is an exquisite cigar you must try now. Available nationally for the first time, Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured features a 2006 Nicaraguan Rosado Oscuro wrapper that is both beautiful and distinctive. This cigar is a masterpiece no one should miss. Make sure you get one today at your local tobacconist. Monte Cristo Epic Craft Cured. Since their humble beginnings in 1998, Drew Estate has believed that the production floor is the crossroads between art and passion and where the real magic takes place. Drew Estate Master Blender Willie Herrera has crafted a unique medium-bodied line extension that is creamy, lush, and ultra-smooth and finished off with a flawless shade wrapper that delivers satisfaction in spades. Continuing the story from their factory floor, it is with great bravado that the Drew Estate presents Under Crown Shade, a true Drew experience. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too. Yes, it's mandatory. Welcome back to KMA Talk Radio. Was I, I just am, talking about the landlord on the air? No. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I should have turned my mic up. I forgot we got these new headsets. Watch. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nope. There you go. Very cool. Very cool mics. Technology. Yes. It's amazing. So <laughs> I am my Adam K, the Brewmeister. With me, of course, Honest Abe. Uh, Zev from Royal Agio is still here, and uh, William Cooper is on the line from Cigar-Coop.com. By the way, we got a lot of cool stuff that Zev has left here. Where's that five-pack? I got cutters. I got hats. We're going to be giving this away on social, social mm-hmm. media. So follow us this week. AJ Smokes will be posting up some cool stuff and ways you can win a lot of this cool Balmoral Agio product. Yes, coming soon to your doorstep, courtesy of the UPS. <laughs> it's just so weird sometimes the stuff he says. <laughs> All right, we got Coop on the line. Coop, so, you still there? I'm here. All right, so Coop, before we went to break, we were teasing the curse of Zev. So, for those unfamiliar, please explain to us the curse of Zev. Well, basically, it's very simple. Um, you don't want to get on an airplane when Zev's on that airplane. Um, not that not that the airplane's going to fall from the sky and crash or something, but you're guaranteed not to get there on time. That would be like more of a Marvin Samuel curse. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, and so, I, I'll never forget, I'm in the airport at the 2011 IPCR coming back from Vegas, and it was Zev's first uh, IPCR Druid State. He sits next to me, and I know Zev for a long time. He's a good friend of mine. But I didn't know about this curse, and he goes, he goes, you do realize this flight's in trouble. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, I never, ever have a flight that's going to make it on time. I'm like, come on, Zev. It's, we're taking a red eye back. Well, sure, I don't know what they announced. They had to, like, go service the bathroom or no, something. There, there was, there was yeah, too, much, eye. Too, much fuel on the, too much fuel on the plane. They had to take some off while we were sitting on the tarmac. What? Really? <laughs> Yeah, wow. I, I have had one for not enough toilet paper, but that's another story. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Too much fuel? Oh, because it makes the plane too heavy, I guess. Costs wow. more money, burns up more yeah. fuel. Uh. 
Well, it's funny because uh, Zev had posted when he was heading out to IPCPR. He he gave all his flight details and he said, "You have been warned." And sure enough, like a couple hours <laughs> later, I saw him posting that there was like a two-hour delay. Not, not only that, that day, remember everybody? There was this big storm that went through. Everybody got stuck. Nobody made it. To, <laughs> nobody made it, made it there within within three hours. I should make T-shirts to say hashtag the curse of Zev. Yeah. No, no, it, yeah, you know, it's not something I want to be part of. It's just something that kind of <laughs> got stuck to me. I mean, this is this from the guy. It's who a force, my friend. Wield it. Wield it. <laughs> strong yeah if you want to get back at anybody just like yes. book a flight the same day as that. Yes. it goes even worse than that coop you don't even know how bad it's expanded it even since then now oh people, the radius of the effect no, of now of people, of people walk growing. by me and if they know they have a flight they will not shake my hand goodbye <laughs> so wow. what i do is i walk through the trade show going you're cursed you're cursed you're cursed and within within Three hours. I'm getting texts. You screwed my flight up. Sorry, the wow. flight's wrong. The flight's a mess. Oh no! So yeah, I don't. It started. I mean, in all honesty, <laughs> it started as a joke. You want a hundred percent ratio to even like yes. create a bigger like urban legend of this? Yeah. Find out anybody who's flying through Dallas Fort Worth and curse them all. <laughs> uh, well, you'll, you'll have almost a hundred percent. I just I just had my first layover ever through there. I've yeah. avoided it my whole life. You'll so have I, almost this time it was accuracy. not the curse. It was really? the airport. So. It, yeah, the oh, airport. No, no. Yeah. I got messed up, oh, but sure, it wasn't whatever. the curse. It was the airport. I mean, every time. Me I, too. I don't think I've ever flown in there. Where I, I didn't, we didn't have a hold of flight pattern for like 20 minutes yeah. before we could land. Yeah. Then we had to land and wait 30 minutes for a gate. And meanwhile, there was only 45 minutes between my two connected flights. And then flights. you try to go upstairs and get on that little oh, train. And it's it. full. It's and, yeah. so, and it's so far. All the gates are so far from each other. Yeah. It's Dallas. Everything's big in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> you know? you, what do you like, mean? i got to cross the county line to get to the next gate? You're like, yeah, it's right over there. Don't worry. Like, oh, I'm in gate A. It's going to yeah. be a gate C. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's a 20 minute ride. They imagine. don't tell you that Z comes after Q, R, T, V, and Y. <laughs> And this fun and exciting air travel information brought to you in part by KMA Talk Radio. <laughs> the best in air travel information. <laughs> how did it how did it start, Zev? Like what was there like a particular uh, incident? When was the time when you start saying maybe this is <laughs> No, uh, listen, in, <laughs> all, in all honesty, I think it's a self fulfilling prophecy because it started off with me not me not really wanting to be on social media and I had to start posting something so it looked for a hitch and it was hey, listen, everybody has flight problems, little things here. So I would just start posting them. Then people I didn't know started hashtagging and tagging the curse of Zev or curse of Zev. Oh, that's funny. And then literally as it just grew, then I'm flying with my wife to Miami for a trip and they make us sit on the tarmac for 45 minutes. You and your wife get on the same plane? Oh, yeah, all the time. Mm. And there, was, oh. there wasn't enough toilet paper. So they made us sit on the tarmac in Charlotte for 30 minutes. And she looks at me and she says, this is real. And then it just seems like every <laughs> year real. it just gets bigger and bigger. But it all started as nothing more than this a joke. And it just exploded. And I, again, self-fulfilling prophecy. That's all I can say. And <laughs> this, once again, the curse of Zev came through as the fire alarm got pulled at the yes. hotel last yes, night. Yes, I, dro I drove down late last night and uh, got to the hotel. I, it was probably around 10.30, 11, maybe it was 11.30. I don't know. I was half asleep. And fire alarm goes off. It goes off for about 35 minutes. I, I posted pictures of it standing outside. And the fire truck shows up. Alarm turns off. They say, okay, go back to your room. All right, I got a hashtag ask KMA question. Um, well, I, hold that though. Oh, is it a break time already? Yes. Bummer. Yeah, I know. Uh, Coop, thanks for sticking around. We will talk to you in two weeks. Uh, keep up the good work. Take it easy. Have a good, safe guys. and happy weekend, I my hope friend. you're flying now. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> all right, that is Cigar Coop. Make sure you check out cigar-coop.com for all the latest news information, quality reviews, and great topics every single week brought to you by Cigar Coop. Uh, we are going to have more with Zev, and we are going to find out what questions someone has asked on the Facebook when we come back from this break and more with Zev from Royal Agio Cigars. Keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too! Yes, it's mandatory. Once in a lifetime, something comes along that changes the game. That time is now. The Blast by Infinity is the most advanced, scientifically proven multi-purpose protectant on the market today. The Blast eliminates all smoke and odor on contact and creates a long-lasting barrier of protection. The Blast works on clothing, textiles, and hard surfaces. Water-based, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, 100% guaranteed. Safe for human and pets. Visit InfinityOdorShield.com. Nestor Miranda has always believed it's not just cigars, it's a lifestyle. And the Nestor Miranda collection is handmade at My Father Cigars in Esteli, Nicaragua for your lifestyle. It doesn't matter if you're smooth like the Connecticut, mellow as a Habano, bold like the Maduro, or spicy like the all-new Corojo. The Nestor Miranda collection is blended with your lifestyle in mind. Four sizes, four blends, one life. Celebrate your lifestyle with the cigars of the Nestor Miranda collection today. 
Cigar Enthusiasts Did you know your personal freedom to enjoy a fine cigar is affected by some form of smoking ban in all 50 states? Additionally, taxation on premium cigars is at its highest level in history, with some states taxing at an astronomical rate of 75%. Finally, there's a solution. CRA, Cigar Rights of America, is the first and only nonprofit public advocacy association fighting for your freedom to enjoy a fine cigar. Don't just sit there. Become part of the solution. Become a CRA member today. Membership is only $35 a year. That's less than $3 a month. And as a special bonus, CRA will send you two limited edition cigars as a way to say thank you for joining. Visit CigarRights.org for more information and to become a member. The Oliva family, the makers of some of the most affordable yet highest rated premium cigars available. For seven straight years, Cigar Aficionado has rated Oliva as one of the best cigars of the year. And Oliva has a cigar for all smokers. From the newly released Gilberto Oliva Reserva to the bold and rich Oliva Serie V. Oliva cigars can be found at a tobacconist near you. So always ask for Oliva. An unbeatable value and uncompromising quality. The Oliva family of cigars. A brand more than 100 years in the making. Particulares was established in Havana, Cuba in 1895, operating as an elite factory that would later introduce the world to classic brands such as Byron, Particulares, and even Monte Cristo. Now, Sindicato Cigars is proud to bring this historic brand back to life, partnering with the legendary Topsa factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, to reimagine this Cuban classic as a modern-day Nicaraguan puro. Transport yourself to a bygone era of Cuban nostalgia with Particulares by Sindicato. For more information, visit syndicato.com. Monitor three humidors at once from one simple device. Caring for your cigars is easy with the new PuroTemp wireless hygrometer from Zycar. You now have the ability to monitor the humidity and temperature in three humidors without even having to open them. Ensure protection by setting simple alerts that will warn you when your cigars are not in the optimal environment. Like everything Zycar, this is backed by their lifetime warranty. Stop by your local tobacconist to purchase yours today. Zycar for life. To Affinity and beyond, that is where Affinity Cigars will take you. These mild to medium cigars use only the finest select high-grade Ecuadorian Connecticut tobacco, creating a cigar that delivers a smooth, rich, creamy smoke with the gentleness of a mother's touch. Affinity Cigars have become America's go-to cigar for that flavorful yet unintimidating smoking experience. Visit SyndicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too. Yes, it's mandatory. Welcome back to KMA Talk Radio. Broadcasting live here in Palm Beach Gardens. I'm Adam K. the Brewmeister. Dude, no, take the sunglasses off, I, I thought that was Katy Perry for a second. <laughs> They're very loud sunglasses, right? Yes. Why? Why are you? I wish there was a camera. I don't know, but I can't see anything. I'll take a picture. You can't see anything? Give me those glasses. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, I'm Adam K., the brewmaster with me, of course, Honest Abe, and Zev, our special guest from Royal Agio Cigars. Before we went to break, someone had a Facebook question for Zev. If you've got one, make sure you go to the KMA Talk Radio Facebook page and just hashtag Ask KMA. We got a question from Ed Ryan. He says, Were you and Matt at Camacho at the same time? Yeah, actually, that's it. Well, he wants to know, are there any good stories from that, that um, period? Well, I mean, I was his first roommate at a trade show ever. Oh, what a traumatic experience that could have been. It was my first trade show also. So luckily, there were no stories that I was a part of. I just know he never got back to the room until 4 a.m. So I really wow. wasn't a part of that. But no, there really were no crazy stories. I, I traveled with him at the beginning. It kind of reminds me when we talked earlier how long I've been around, but I've been so behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, I did the first tour ever with Matt Booth around the Carolinas, Georgia, Tennessee. The only thing I can tell you is he stays up all night, sleeps, well, back then, sleeps all day in the car, and uh, you don't want to be in the car with him. I'll just put it to you that way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, listen, I was so new back then that I think I was just afraid of everybody, so I didn't let anything fun happen back then. How could you be afraid of Matt Booth? Well, the it was Meister's probably taking offense, because, you know, it wasn't like afraid Matt, of Matt Booth. Matt has, like, demigod, demigod status, too. 
Well, Burmeister. then you'll appreciate this. My Twitter and Instagram is at Z-E-V-F-F-R-E-Y, Zephry. That is what he calls me because he that's my name. So Zephry. Oh, hi, Zephry, baby. I, 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 I'm that's loyal to him also. No, that's but interesting. He really kind of helped me along when, it, when we started together. So we kind of started learning everything together. Oh. So. Does, ever, cool. does anybody not have a nickname with Booth? No. Yeah, I think so. that's what he does. I, I thought I was special at the beginning, but you know, <laughs> then I realized that I was just another one of his, you know, just chalk, you know, check offs on his uh, bedpost. <laughs> wow, <laughs> one expression. Adam knows, Adam knows the feeling. Adam's at least six of those check offs. <laughs> you, you, they have the biggest bromance I think I've ever seen. It's kind of awkward. The brewmeister literally smoked a cigar rolled with Max pubic hair. Is that I, true, I don't, though? I don't, I don't even know Ask what to him. say to that. I didn't that, know that was true. They told true. me this after the fact. I didn't even want to be a part of this. But you knew there was hair rolled in it. You guys made me do it. Anything for anything yeah. for broadcast rights. Me, so his arm. Anything yeah. for broadcast, except uh, have your grandmother. I got. I, I, I got to be honest. It was really his beard. Well, here. Uh, but we told him it was his pubes. But after still, it's fact. hair. Oh no! It smelled didn't horrendous. It yeah. Oh God! When they li- this was outdoor yep. during a live broadcast. And he probably one, still sm- smell at one of the great smokes, <laughs> and it was the most putrid smell I've ever heard. I've ever and did he smelled. smoke the whole cigar? Oh no! Let me take him. There was a couple <laughs> guys. This was originally done. I think. I think George Rico rolled it. Yes. Because they needed somebody who could roll a cigar on site. Yeah. So I think George Rico came and rolled it, and Clay was supposed to smoke it. But because of their bromance, I shouted, somebody get Adam here because he'll smoke this. So anybody who tried it, I think even Rico might have taken a hit, but anybody who tried it was like, you know, <laughs> what's you know? wrong with this? Yeah. We gave it to Adam, and Adam like starts like reviewing it. <laughs> Blowing it out of his nose, <laughs> retrohaling. Takes a second. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was gross. It was really gross. Well, I'm guessing Ed's pretty happy he got a good story. Just <laughs> oh, that's a story, fire. man. True story. I'm telling you, the, the, the smell that came out of the burning human hair was so gross. <laughs> So gross. Yeah, I oh, make smell. sure you update and trim your beard every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it might end up in someone's cigar. Please don't roll it. I yes. wish they would have done a behind the scenes like making that cigar. Like I would have like seen with the trimmer over the lead, over we the binder. did it on the air. He it's rolled probably it. Probably in the archive he shaved somewhere. Shaved it on. The, go to the. It was okay. still the German club. It's got to be at least two or three years ago. Okay. He, I, don't I, know, might, I think that was the first term. Wait, 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 I don't know if it's going to be on There's the... There's no video. It, they might have little segments of it, but not the broad, The broadcast is just somewhere. You guys yeah. Brian. But, yeah, I mean, he literally had clippers. <laughs> he shaved his little goop tea or whatever. They gathered it all up. They called George Rico. They buy some tobacco leaves. They rolled a cigar. <laughs> they lit it, and they started smoking it. You know what the best part of this whole story is? And I was wondering why I came back to the cigar industry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know, that's a good point. So, uh, obviously, Zev, you know, you came back from Vegas now. W- where are you going next? Where do you have, like, this map laid out of where you're going to try? Are you doing heavy core traveling? I, I'm Basically, my, my core traveling is going to start probably in September, October, when, we're, when we fully shipped out all the new lines as a release, and they're hitting the market. Um, you know, we went really slowly in, in placing brokers in certain key parts of the country. I want right. to make sure I have the right people. So, I'm going to start hitting the road myself, you know, just getting out there. I mean, I'm not the brand. I'm not the face. But, you know, I want to be out there again. And it will remind me again what I love. And getting on the run with the brokers, seeing what they can do, seeing some of my old customer friends that I haven't seen in a long time. That was the one great thing about the show was you realize how many friends you really have when bad things happen. You know, people come by. They say hi. But, I mean, I'm going to be I'm trying to get out to the West Coast, which I really had never been out to before. I'll be back up in the Carolinas the week after Labor Day. Um, and, again, it's just going to start going from there. And since I'm live on, on me, social media now, people will know where I'm going, and they'll know when I'm flying, <laughs> and they'll know, they'll know when I'm flying, so they'll know where not to fly to. I meant to ask Coop that if he knew in advance that he, you were going to be on the same flight, would he really reschedule a flight? I forgot to ask him. He's probably listening. He is put on Facebook. But yeah. is it, does he believe that much that he would actually not book a flight that he knew Has anyone on? found out they were on a flight with you and rescheduled it that no. you know of? <laughs> no. 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 Usually it becomes a joke when we're sitting there until we get on the plane, and then they're like, damn it, I should have changed my flight. Right? <laughs> Excuse me, stewardess, can I get on another flight? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. What Excuse me, stewardess, I speak jive. You have a, you have other cigars. <laughs> airplane, right? airplane, airplane. Yes, if, uh, you lose. I wish. Sorry, I was just saying there's there's other cigars here as well that that we didn't mention. Oh, the oh. The, the mass market. Yeah, I right. mean these were basically you know everybody was talking about how we were in the market for for twenty something years. I mean we've been distributed by Drew Estate by. Cusano, which was part of Davidoff. Oh, I see how far back he goes. Keep going. Uh, it was Ashton, Ashton, SAG, and there's one before that that I don't even remember the Wasn't name of. Wasn't Ashton before SAG? Or maybe I have it backwards. Yeah, I yeah. think Ashton might have been before It was Ashton, then SAG, right. then Cusano. Um, when I got in the business, this was being distributed by Ashton. I Ashton. Believe. 
And you know, these are the brands that they're known for internationally. Uh, Panther, which are they're all 100% premium tobacco, machine made. Not Panther. 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 Even though there's a cheetah on the cigar. It was either that or a Panther tank, and I think did, the cheetah went over better. Did, I mean, I don't know yeah. if Panther is some foreign language for cheetah, but <laughs> I'm going to zoom in here. This has always been their logo. They have a cheetah. I believe that's a cheetah. Could be a leopard. But, you know, if my thunder, if my Thundercats uh, knowledge <laughs> treats me right, that definitely looks like a Chitara. Great TV references <laughs> Absolutely. Today. I'm here yeah. for you. That looks like a cheetah, and uh. they named it Panther. Without the H. Now, in all honesty, if, if you know that's something that goes back way before me, but if we can get him mm. in, I mean, you could ask him that question also. What does it say down here? Long live Rwanda? No. <laughs> 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 that, 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 thanks for making me show the cigar. The cigars. <laughs> it's not long live Rwanda. I couldn't yeah. think of the line. What is it? There's it is something Rwanda. Rwanda forever. Wakanda. 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 That's, that's so, Lou's wife. Wait, wait, the best part is I put you the joke, but y'all still got it. It's <laughs> yeah. Wakanda. It says Wakanda forever. There you go. <laughs> I feel like you were going. All right. <laughs> oh, that's so oh great. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, all right. So hopefully you're getting out to the West Coast. Is there any place where you're not going that you really want to try and get to? I mean, is there an area in the Midwest where no? My goal is to is to hit the market everywhere. I mean, there's pockets. Every brand will tell you there's pockets all over the country where things where things move, where things sell. I mean, obviously the XO has been out for a while, so there are pockets of stores all over the country that sell it well. So, I, just no matter how much time I have. I'm sorry, I'm stuck on this, but I would <laughs> still come out with a line called Black Panther <laughs> <laughs> and make it in a black tin. How did they not see this in the marketing department? You just gave it to them. Yeah, Black Panther with a cheetah on it. <laughs> no, and then the, the, the good news is say Wakanda forever. Everybody in Holland will be watching this once they get back from their vacation. Well, they, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, they're, they're going to log in. That's to the see new it, line. So Black make sure they know Panther. <laughs> now, if you don't want to get sued, you can call it Panther Black, but we'll all know what it is. <laughs> we'll also get it. And just make sure you send the check to KMA Talk Radio, courtesy <laughs> of Honest Abe, 800, yeah, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I would totally jump on that bandwagon in the marketing hey, department. Hey, the other thing to mention is that uh, Zev was uh, very gracious to our listeners, and he brought us a couple of uh, package uh, prize packs that we're going to be giving away during the week. Right, AJ? Yes, sir. <laughs> so you'll see, you'll see those coming up during the week. Yes. A yes. lot of cool stuff. A lot of great Very stuff. Very generous. Thank you, Zev. Make uh, sure you to stay tuned Thanks for all the social on. medias. We will then see what is totally going on, and we will see this week it belongs in a cigar in St. Asylum when we come back. Keep it lit. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too. Yes, it's mandatory. Recognized and respected throughout the cigar industry, Eric Espinosa and his La Zona factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, are committed to creating cigars of superior quality with the perfect combinations of flavor and strength for every palate. So whether it's the 93-rated La Ranja Reserva, the 92-rated 601s, the Murcielago, or the Espinosa Habano, Crema, or Especial, Espinosa Premium Cigars has the right cigar for you. The next time you're ready for a truly unique cigar experience, ask for Espinosa Cigars. A brand more than 100 years in the making, Particulares was established in Havana, Cuba in 1895, operating as an elite factory that would later introduce the world to classic brands such as Byron, Particulares, and even Monte Cristo. Now, Sindicato Cigars is proud to bring this historic brand back to life, partnering with the legendary Topsa factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, to reimagine this Cuban classic as a modern-day Nicaraguan puro. Transport yourself to a bygone era of Cuban nostalgia with Particulares by Sindicato. For more information, visit syndicato.com. Hey, fools, how about a game of cutthroat? And it's your funeral. That's my kind of game. Arnold, I hope your pool playing is better than your choice of cigars. What do you mean? Wow, tough crowd. Here, try this recluse cigar. You're going to need all the help you can get. Don't be stingy. Let me get one of those. Recluse. Wow, that's a good smoke. Now I can bring my A game. I think you should stick with that recluse cigar and work on your B game because you don't have an A game. And I know a little something about games. Boom. Ooh, that's cold. Mike Bellady has collaborated with industry legends Don Pepin Garcia, Manuel Quesada, and Ernesto Perez Carrillo to make some of the industry's most highly touted cigars. Through his company, MLB Cigars, Mike brings you four incredible and unique blends. Imperia, Imperia Islero, Imperia Aventador, and the David P. Ehrlich Tremont. MLB Cigars are made with the best minds in the industry. Visit us at MLBCigarVentures.com and follow us on social media. Imperia and David P. Ehrlich Cigars, developed by legends, smoked by connoisseurs. 
Quality and value are always the two biggest determining factors for consumers when making buying decisions. Casa Bella by Sindicato Cigars offers superior flavor, quality construction, and an affordable everyday price. Completely handmade in the Dominican Republic, these value-priced, smooth yet flavorful cigars are comprised of Dominican and Nicaraguan filler tobaccos, and they're available in natural and Maduro wrappers. Visit SindicatoCigars.com to find your nearest authorized dealer of Casa Bella cigars. Lights, camera, action. Real Clips Barbershop brings you all that is good about old school barbershops in a new cinematic themed environment. Whether you need a traditional cut, fade, blowout, or even a straight razor hot towel shave, our master barbers will get you right. All while enjoying iconic scenes from some of your favorite movies. Right from our video screens built into the mirrors. Visit RealClipsBarbershop.com. That's real, R-E-E-L, ClipsBarbershop.com for a location near you or to make an appointment. After one visit, we know you'll be back. Insurance companies have a very unique business model that the general public doesn't understand. Insurance companies make profit only one way, taking in premiums and paying out less on claims than they take in premiums. In doing this, they oftentimes deny legitimate people with viable claims fair compensation. We know accidents happen, they happen every day. The good thing about insurance is it helps people do the right thing when they've caused accidents. You know, if I cause an accident, the first thing I want to do is make sure the person is okay, the, per the person's taken care of. The insurance gives us the ability to do the right thing. Unfortunately, the insurance company uh, treats people like statistics instead of human beings. And that's why you need an experienced attorney to make sure the insurance company does the right thing. Baker and Zimmerman, defending the injured. 800 866 Laws. Welcome back. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram too! Yes, it's mandatory. Welcome back to KMA Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Adam Gay, the Brewmeister. With me, of course, Honest Abe. Hello, hello, hello. And. Paul, stop dancing. I know, it's really bad. First the glasses, then the, the dancing. Music, I know. The music is good, man. I'm loving this. Really bad. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm so purposely glad dancing I, bad. I don't, I'm so glad I'm oh, the camera you, you, there. Oh, you purposely dance good? Did, you saw me at my wedding. I danced very well. You mean the one you paid to take lessons in choreog? For, for, for like two minutes worth of yeah, song. Yeah, okay. That was good, though, right? Right up there with uh, Baby Camp. Cost me like $1,500. $1, he went to a baby boot camp. It's called Daddy Boot Camp. Whatever. Right? So they could teach him how to change a diaper. Like it needed and a they manual. canceled it anyway. I ended up coming to work that day. <laughs> Basically, what is the real true story here is, well, Paul likes to waste money. <laughs> and, well. No, I don't think Paul likes to waste money. I think he's forced to. No, I people. think Paul just has to do whatever Mama says. Stop it. That's what it comes No, to. that's not true. If I don't want to do something. You know, your wife is at home shaking your head going, that's right. Where's Abe. that whip sound As effect when does. I it? Yes, Abe. That's right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, she is. Stop it. I'm the king of my castle, dude. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> and anyone who actually wants to say that. Oh, my God, is that a soundbite? Rudy, I want that soundbite. I'm the king of my castle. Oh, my God. I keep giving you too much. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> yes, this is episode 306 of KMA Talk Radio. Oh and now God. we've got all kinds of great new sound bits brought to you in part by Honest Dave and his soapbox. I'm the, the king soapbox of king my himself. Castle. I'm going to make him a shirt that says, Yes, yeah, Steph, I'm the king of my castle. <laughs> yes, make Steph. him wear it. Her name is spelled S T E F, just so you know. I would have put PH, thanks. <laughs> I definitely would have put PH. Yeah. Everyone does. Uh, so, yeah. What are we pointing at? Oh, the, um, we, we talked. I was supposed to do this after the break, but anyways, every one of our no, guests. No, this is the on, last. I know, but I, I wanted to do it after the, sec the break where we had the commercial. I board. did mark it. I know you did. I missed it. But anyways, every one of our guests comes on, gets a complimentary, the blast by Affinity Odor Shield, folks. Awesome stuff. We're gonna give Zev the fresh linen one to take home. Spray this. Take, put it in your backpack. Carry it around. Car. No, you know, I, need, I, need, I need it for the car. Hotel all the room, I'm doing. Hotel so. rooms. <laughs> you know, when you smoke in your hotel room that you're not supposed ne to. Ne never. Oh yeah. Stuff works actually very good, so uh, enjoy that. We Infinity actually test. Thank it. you very much. Courtesy of our sponsor over at Finney Odor, Sh Odor Shield, um, uh, and uh, works out great. We tested it in Abe's hotel room. We won't say what hotel we were. Oh, in. Oh yeah, I smoke we... in every hotel room. I, I didn't to, by know the way. that. 
every hotel room. He was like, "Sucker, I've been doing it like since they banned it. I've been but, doing it." But do you like so hotels that still have smoking rooms? Would you get a smoking room? No, or no? they stink. No, they, they <laughs> reek. <laughs> no, they, they smell reek. terrible. Yeah, they reek. Wow. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, but it did work in that bathroom. It does work. Yeah. First off, there's tricks to it. I limit my smoking time to the bathroom. Okay. I don't do it where there's a lot of upholstery and Correct. furniture. I close the bathroom and I, and I do it in the bathroom and then I spray it with some good stuff. Never a problem. Okay. Little tricks about traveling and smoking. And now, the more you know. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, I hear you, Colin. I see. I got to let our listeners know what's going on. Colin is having the awesome uh, liberty of uh, broadcasting for the football this year. Yes, he's doing FAU football broadcast on another stage. Which yes. is a huge opportunity. Yeah, yes. it's a great day. I mean, especially if you're a football guy, too. I mean, he's going to have a lot of fun. So we're trying to prep our man. Except Rudy. he's got to hang out with Ken Levicka, who's not that much fun. Oh. But that's only a South Florida reference. No <laughs> if you forget. say so. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yep, uh, Colin got the joke, but uh, yeah. Ken, that's no it. problem. We don't have anything against you, sir. Rudy, stop looking constipated, man. You're so intense. Rudy's like poor guy they're trying to get and you know, he's a listener of the show. He usually sits with Colin and laughs, enjoys the show. So this has gone like from two hours of him enjoying himself. Yeah, now, now he's gotta work. So he's so stressed yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, look at him, he's reading the boards, I'm talking yeah. right at him, he's not even acknowledging. It's just like the anything. people who always say oh, I want to yeah. work in the cigar business because I love smoking cigars, and then they get in and they go, Man, this is a, this, this is sucks. a job. This sucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Everyone realizes it becomes work. Yeah. It oh, becomes work. Poor guy. We'll get him there. We'll uh, get him there. Then. It'll happen. But uh, and now this week it's see who belongs in a cigar in insane asylum. Uh oh. Welcome to the Cigar Asylum. Did you know I'm utterly insane? We all go a little mad sometimes. Where logic and reason cease to exist. This week, Who Belongs in a Cigar Insane Asylum? Brought to you in part by CLE and Asylum Cigars. So are you a fan of this segment? I, I love it. We yeah, yeah. mentioned yeah. It during the break, you love this segment. Well, yeah, just, you know, it ties, obviously, to Asylum Cigars, which I'm a big fan of. Yes. I'm a big fan of Tom Lazuka. Tom's a great just, guy. And we just have some very strange things. This is one of the on. segments I just can't see getting old on this show. First off, it's a never-ending supply of material. Oh, that's exactly. I mean, literally. Yeah. Mostly I, just in Florida, but yeah. yeah. Fortunately. No, no, it's all f- everywhere. <laughs> no, but you, I don't know if you noticed this, but we always complain because, like, 75% of these usually end up being a Florida resident yeah, somehow. And it's hard. And, it, and, and I we don't, don't look do that. that. We don't do that on no, purpose. No, no. I, I've noticed that even before, when I first moved here, the zombie walking down the highway eating people's faces. Yeah, what like was every, that? every time I turn around, it's yeah. like it goes on in Florida. What was that? Yeah. So uh, that was. Uh, but you I, know, I was hungry. I, you know, that I, was don't do meth. No, that was bath salts. Yeah. But, but you want to know what? It's really funny because like I watch these movies where stuff like that happens, where some governmental thing goes wrong and a guy breaks out in the street and then eats somebody alive. Like, oh, yeah, that was bath salts. I'm thinking to myself. Oh, was it really bad <laughs> salts? I'm telling you, I never be. I was never one of these like conspiracy conspiracy theory people. But I'm telling you today, man, I just I have no idea what's going on anymore. It's just too insane. <laughs> you know. Anyways, let's get on to today's insane asylum. Brought to you by the fine folks at CLE and Asylum Cigars. This week's inductee. I have to admit, I kind of read this last night. Sometimes I don't oh, okay. actually read it in advance, and I was kind of a little mad. But you got to wait for it because there's a punchline here. Well worth it. Yes, gotcha. this week's inductee was hoping for understanding and all he got were looks of disgust. A man at Planet Fitness in New Hampshire started his yoga routine. Luckily, it was not Steve Saka. Yes, God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. And, uh, however, Eric Stagno, 34, was charged with indecent exposure, lewdness, disorderly conduct as he decided to do his routine naked. <laughs> Witnesses reported that St- Wait for it. Witnesses reported that Stagley walked in, stripped down in front of the gym, leaving his clothes and his belongings in the front desk, then walked over back by the yoga mats and began to do yoga. When officers arrived, they said they found Stagno in his birthday suit in a yoga tight position. Now, I would have been more impressed if that officer could have nailed me that position. You know, <laughs> we found this stuntsman in the front bear yoga dancing tiger <laughs> lotus position. I almost made one up. Oh, I would have been, I would have been way more impressed <laughs> yeah. had the officer really stated the exact position he was in. As long as he wasn't doing downward facing dog, I mean, right? everybody was way <laughs> right? happier. I'm telling you. So, the only comment that he made is that Mr. Stagno said that I thought this was a judgment-free zone. Apparently referencing the slow clean of Planet Fitness. <laughs> well, they, so, they have to be more specific. He's got an argument there. Yeah. This is a judgment-free zone. I thought that was pretty creative. Oh. <laughs> Some gym customers said they suspected Stagno was under the influence of something. Police did say they found 
some drug paraphernalia on his possessions. According to Planet Fitness website, the chain promises a judgment-free zone where members feel comfortable regardless of their fitness level. So, congratulations. I, I, I'm, I'm just I, not I, naked. No, I'm switching this up. I'm not going to... Mr. Stagno's not okay. the Insane Asylum recipient. Planet Fitness, Fitness is. is. <laughs> Choose your slogans more wisely, yes. people. Be careful what you wish for. Choose your slogans more wisely. Dear Can, Planet Fitness Marketing you, Department, rethink what yes, you're talking about. Planet Fitness, you are this week's inductee into the Cigar Insane Asylum. Uh, interesting. Brought to you in part by Celia Asylum Cigars, as always. Great supporters of a wonderful segment. Special thanks to Cigar Coop for being here, for Zev for sharing with us all of this fun and exciting <laughs> stuff. Make sure you check out the KMA Talk Radio Facebook page, Instagram feeds. You can take home some Balmore cigars. Balmoral? Balmoral yeah, cigars. Don't, uh, extra syllable. Blah, more blah, blah, blah. One, one more syllable in that word. Yeah. Balmoral. Yeah, it's all that's... Also, check out our new contest, the... Uh, I don't know what we call it, the Funny Photo Contest. Funny yeah. Photo Contest. Remember, we're not looking for silly photos. These are real... I don't know if anybody saw my face... My fa- uh, that might have been a private post, but... I, I posted, it was really kind of awkward, it was early in the morning, I was driving, and I pulled up and I realized, holy cow, the semi-truck is facing me. Oh, and it was I a saw, truck, saw, saw, yeah, it was a truck on a hitch, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you know, this, it was like yeah. 2 a.m. after a night of drinking, this would have been a little bit more, than just, just a little disturbing, but yeah, basically, it's some semi was on the back of another Hope that happens truck. the next time with a passenger that's asleep. Right? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so screaming! Yes! And then they open their yes. eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm surprised none of those shenanigans happened on the road trip back, but I feel like Adam would have been... Because he drove the whole way back from Atlanta. Oh, you couldn't have a more... He, he's a robot. Yeah, he he just... He sets the cruise control. Speaking of robots, uh, out of complete boredom, I, I accidentally, accidentally watched the movie on Netflix last night. Extinction. Freaky movie. Watch it. Extinction. Extinction. It stars the Latino actor from the Ant-Man, his little buddy, I forget oh, his name, um, that was in Chips. Yeah. He was in Chips and whatnot. Right. He's a funny guy, but not a funny movie. But I, I never heard of it. I never heard it of it. It started on accident. I think I was trying to play something else and ended up getting caught up into it. And pretty good right, sci-fi I'll, I'll movie. I'll Extinction. 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 Now, is it a Netflix spe- specific? Could or? be. I never heard of it. Okay. So it could be a Netflix only uh, I'm looking for it. But, show. But speaking, worthwhile. Speaking of Netflix, you're going to be proud of me. Because I started watching Suits, and I actually really love it. Listen, Suits early years phenomenal. Gosh, I'm in the first season. Yeah, phenomenal. Because I'm, like, I'm 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 totally a Harvey Specter house. Any alpha male, I'm I'm into that show. They made the jump. It's semi working. Oh, Not really? bad. I mean, the, the, new, the new season just started without you know his old co-host and the new Duchess or whatever oh. they call her, princess now and whatever. But. Um, They've made the jump, and it's still like only two seasons, two shows in now without it, and the changeup. Not loving it? No, no. I, I, I thought I'd be way more against it. Let's put it that way. Oh. I thought it would definitely be an epic fail, and maybe it may, may not be a fail. Like, it's too too early to tell still. Too early to tell. But if you're doing Netflix, you got to do Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Altered Carbon. If you're a sci-fi really? fan. Really? Altered Carbon. Great. That he was telling us about that. If on you're the road a sci-fi trip. fan, some guys aren't into sci-fi, but if you're a sci-fi fan. Yeah. Well, Altered Carbon was awesome, awesome. I just thought that they were renewing that for a season two, and Anthony Mackie will not be starring in it. Well, it's it's, it's it's one of these Doctor Who things, which kind of upsets uh. me. Where like every well, this one's even worse. It's like one season, and now you got a new character. You know, Doctor Who just just when I get to the point where I start loving whoever they selected, the guy dies, and I, I got a new one. But so far, every time I've ended up loving the guy, even the last one. I ended up blowing him. Now it's going to be a woman. All right. Yes. All right. This has been KMA Talk Radio. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you in two weeks. We are off next week. It'll be a best of KMA. Until then, and as always, keep it lit. Paul the producer. Now, I heard that you're naming your son Axel. You didn't know this? No, I didn't know this. Please tell me you're giving him the middle name Rose. My first thought was always Axel Foley. I'm a quarter German. Axel is a popular name for boys in Germany, and it means strong. The figures. You're listening to KMA Talk Radio. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're on Instagram, too. Yes, it's mandatory. Awarded the 2014 Nicaraguan Cigar of the Year. With numerous 90-plus ratings, the Perdomo 20th Anniversary Cigar celebrates Tobacco Lara Perdomo's 20 years as one of Nicaragua's largest premium cigar manufacturers. Using only the highest priming tobaccos grown exclusively by the Perdomo family, the 20th Anniversary Cigar has a tremendous profile with layer upon layer of rich, elegant, complex flavors. Visit your nearest authorized tobacconist today and experience the masterful blend of these Nicaraguan puros. Now available in extremely limited edition pyramid size in Sun Grown or Maduro. Keep it lit with KMA Talk Radio. 
Southeast's number one club of the year is Spearmint Rhino. Enjoy $5 lunch specials daily till 3 p.m. with the best view in town. Really hungry? Take a bite of their 16-ounce New York strip special, only $14.95, available daily until 10 p.m. Spearmint Rhino, home of the $10 Tuesdays, all day, all night. Dances are only $10. Rhino is South Florida's adult playground. Mention the door, Honest Abe sent you, for free entry. For more information, visit SpearmintRhino.com.